Uh, I really don't know what else to do right now. I, I, I was expecting to have a conversation, but I really don't know what to talk about, to be honest. There's just so much I've already talked about, and I don't know, before, it was just crazy, because before I felt like I was able to, um, I felt like before I was able to, um, just create any, like, create a conversation and just talk and, you know, do whatever and stuff, but, um, I don't know, just for some odd reason, I feel like I can't, I feel like before, this is the way I could explain it. I feel like before I was able to um, create a conversation on my own, like bring it, bring it out of me, you know, I'm like able to bring it out of me. And I've been noticing it's getting harder and harder for me to like pull it, like to pull uh, what's inside me to pull it out. Uh, I've been relying on others to pull out what's inside of me, um, to have that type of conversation um to um under i don't know understand certain things i guess you could say um i again i used to be able to do it on my own and um for some odd reason i can't do it on my own anymore it just feels like i always it just takes specific people or person to just pull out inside of me a conversation Ah, <sighs> so sometimes I'm really not sure uh, what to conversate about anymore. Um, just whatever comes to mind or whatever people want to talk about. Um, currently, right now, I am having some weird dreams. You know, I'm I'm remembering them too. Compared to like I said before, I didn't really remember them too much. Um, but now I am. And in one of my dreams, and you know, we could call it a nightmare. But like I said. Uh, my nightmares are are long gone. All my nightmares already happened already when I was a kid. Uh, as I grew up, you know, no matter how bad it might sound, you know, it's a dream. But um, I remember one of my dreams, and this was about a few days ago. Um, there was a, uh, I just remember everyone was panicking. And we were told uh, something happened. We're like, the world all the world's nuclear power plants were like blowing up you know they were all blowing up and i remember going outside and the sky was on fire like the whole sky was like dark but it was on fire it was weird and i remember like there was like sirens going off there were sounds people screaming and i remembered um like they were saying like the the you know something about the nuclear power plants they have all blew up like all of them blew up at once or you know, and um, it was pretty much the end of things, you know, and um, it was kind of, I mean, I didn't, I can't remember too much. Like I said, I just remember nuclear power plants blowing up, people screaming, sounds like sirens and sounds going off, you know, the sky being lit up. It was like dark, but it was also lit up with fire. Um, there was just, yeah, and people were just screaming and panicking and, you know, there's nothing you could do, you know what I mean? Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, I told you guys, you know, it's sometimes my dreams feel very real. Uh, and um, I've had a couple of other dreams, too. I'm not sure. Um, I think nothing to share about. You know, I just remember them. But that one I wanted to share because it just it felt so real. You know, a lot of my dreams do feel real. Um, well, I gosh, man, I'm stuck right now. I'm like literally stuck. I'm not sure really what to talk about i'm not sure really what to say i'm not sure um which direction to go um obviously i do my little thing um let me see i'm trying to see what i could pop up as a conversation um how about lies you guys want to talk about lies like how dangerous lies can be um i i just feel like lies nowadays are so dangerous you know they change a person's life they ruin things they can um damage a lot of people's uh livelihood you know or even happiness you know sometimes there's people like myself you know that are happy in a moment of time you know and it could be a something it could be someone it could be um any type of happiness and what i hate is um you know it could take just one small lie a bigger lie or it could be multiple lies or let's just say people you know coming together to try to like spread these lies and i hate it you know, especially when, you know, someone's, you know, people lie about me. 
Uh, it's probably one of the worst things I've, 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 I hate, you know, you know, out of all things, you know, I hate cheating. I hate unfaithfulness. I hate liars. I hate a lot of like that, a lot of that kind of stuff. And sometimes I, I don't know, like sometimes like when I get put in those type of situations, like, I like not in a, 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 a suicidal type of way, but sometimes I'm just like, damn, I just want to die right now. I was like, I want to die right now so I could show them who I really am. You know, like I want to get rid of this body so I could show them who I really am. Uh, they're going to pay for their mistakes. They're going to pay for putting their names, in, my names in their mouth. Um, they're going to, you know, they're going to regret it, you know, but obviously there's nothing I could do right now in some ways, but uh, but just speak about it. But, you know, there's times, like I said, I, I just tell myself, like, man, I just I just I just want to die um, just to prove who I am, just to show them, like, you know, don't mess with me. You know, don't put my name in your mouth like it's very dangerous to do that. But obviously, you know, I'm still alive and I continue to stay alive with everybody else. And, you know, I really I really think, you know, I'll probably reach, you know, like I'll just, you know, I'm going to stick in there to the end with everybody else. And something's going to happen. I've been feeling it for like the last couple of weeks now, like something big is going to happen. I feel off. My energy isn't there. Um, I feel empty, like I feel really, really empty inside. And normally I don't feel empty inside. I don't. I don't know. I feel like I'm, I was complete. I feel completed, but now I feel so empty right now. And I just, you know, it's just like where you get that feeling like, man, I just want to die now. Like I, 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 like I had this conversation with night of devils, you know, I was like, you know, I just feel like my purpose has already, my purpose is done. I, I have messages in me, but I don't have much, I don't have that many more, any, you know, that many more messages left. And, um, I just look at it like, you know, my purpose here, uh, when it comes to the message, I guess you could say, you know, the, the metaphor of things, um, my purpose is done. My messages have been delivered. I piece things together for everyone across, uh, you know, across, you know, the world, you know what I mean? Um, and there's just not much left, you know, it's just like, well, the only thing left now is just for me to die. Um, just so I could come back and prove who I really am, just so I can, you know, uh, stare the, one, uh, my enemies in my, in their eyes, you know, like I want to find all my enemies and I know who they are and I'm going to just stare them in the eyes and just shake my head. And I know they're going to fear me, you know, they don't fear me now because obviously I'm still in my human form. I still speak like a human or I don't speak like a human, but I look like it. And, you know, I sound like one, I guess you could say. Uh, but sometimes I get this feeling like my purpose is done. I don't need to be here anymore. Um, you know, in this form, uh, I've already said what I had to say. Um, but what what stops me is, um, well, no, not what stops me is, um, is just, uh, how could I say? Uh, I know you can't leave the game early. You can't cheat the game. And I've always, uh, you know, stuck to my own rules, I guess you could say. Now, again, it might sound like, you know, I hate that word, like suicidal, but no, I would never do that. Um, I feel it's wrong. Um, you know, that's taking the easy way out. And, you know, the true warriors, the true uh, people that are true to themselves, they no matter how hard, no matter what you're going through, you just stick through it, you know. And it's hard. It's so hard because I just continue to live at this. Uh, hey, what's up, dude? I just continue to live as this uh, this mortal and I allow other mortals to take advantage of me because, you know, there are just some people or a lot of people that don't know my life or, you know, who I am. You know, they just know me on the outside of who I am because I'm a good actor and I fake it. But, you know, a night of devils. Do you want to have a conversation online for a little bit, dude? I would love to. I could call you. I would love to call you on Instagram. I could go on my Instagram right now and give you a call and maybe we could talk for a little bit. I'm already done, dude. I, I already did my X uh, thing I do with the Twitter or X. I already did the Instagram. Like I was just talking right now like, man, I don't know what else to say or talk about. I used to be able to pull out conversations out of myself. Um, like, you know, I used to pull conversations out of myself and I feel like uh, I now I'm relying on others to pull the conversation out of me. Um and it's, I don't know what has happened. I feel like 
it was so easy to find all the answers within me. It was, and I was able to pull it out and speak about it. And now I just feel like I'm stuck. I feel like I have, you know, I have to rely on people now to, um, you know, have a conversation with. But yeah, dude, if you're down to talk, dude, I would love to talk to you online. Let me pull up uh, Instagram and I'm going to call you on Instagram. Hopefully it works. It should. I don't see why not. And then, you know, we could talk just for a little bit on stream, just a pure conversation, man. I wish, you know, we did a dual stream, but we'll do that next time. But right now, you know, let me see. Um. I'm going to call you right now on Instagram, okay? Give me a second. Okay, I don't know how to find it on I'm not too much of a PC guy on Instagram. So let me see if I try to f how do I go into all oh, messages there they are All right, night of devils there you are Okay, i'm gonna give you a call right now night of devils, all right? All right, hopefully it works, dude. I, I've never done it through PC, so I don't know if it works the same. When I called yesterday, it was through, uh, it was through the, um, is it calling? It was through the cell phone, so. I'm calling you, Night of Devils. I don't hear it ringing. That's the only problem. Oh, wait, that's why my, my headset's off. Oh, it's ringing. I can hear it ringing. Night of Devils, that's your phone. E.T. phone home. Damn, Night of Devils said no answer. Let me know when you're ready and I'll call you again. Oh, it's ringing. Hold up, hold up. Hold up. Wait, wait, it's ringing through my phone, Night of Devils, but it's... Hold up. Oh, shit. I gotta call you, Night of... Wait. Join. Let me see there. Hello? 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 Alright, that's better. That's better. Yeah! That, what up, dude? Not much, man. Hold on, let me raise the volume. What's I appreciate I appreciate you stopping by. No, of course. I'm still in your chat. It's just I have to go over here. <laughs> no. to go over here. No, I got you. I uh so I was speaking earlier, dude. Uh, so I did everything that I normally do on my, on my, you know, on my streams, you know, um, where I did all that other stuff. And uh, I got it. I'm at a rut, dude. I was like, dude, you came at the perfect timing, to be honest. I was like, damn, I'm ending my stream. Like, this is going to be one of my shortest streams. And before um, I was able, I didn't rely on anybody else to get answers out of me, right? Like I have all these answers in me and I had to find it and I was able to bring it out, especially a lot of my past streams. And I've been feeling, I've been feeling uh, lately that uh, late, lately I've been feeling like I have to rely on others to get these answers out of me. You know what okay. I mean? Like, you know, I, I can't, I don't know. I don't know if it's an energy thing. I don't know what it is, but it's like now I have these, these answers in me. And I okay. can't, I can't tap into myself anymore to pull them out. I got to rely on others that I, that has to help tap into it to help bring it out of me. And okay. sometimes, uh, it just takes 
uh, a specific type of person where they could bring more out of me. And sometimes it's very short, just boom, that's it, you know? Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. and uh, I'm just, you know, I guess, I don't know, as a messenger, you know, which is an angel, I guess sometimes, you know, when you've delivered so many messages and some of them have been the same ones, you know, uh, repeating themselves, I guess. Uh, you know, the, the new messages or the ones that have never been heard before are still within me, you know? So mm -hmm. that's why I was like, cool, you know, like you joined perfect timing to, you know, have a conversation and talk about certain things. So give me your best. Well, um, okay. So I had a vision the other day, you know, and Obviously, I look at myself more as a prophet than I do like a psychic. You know, I've never looked at myself as a psychic. I've never felt that I ever was. Um, every time I even kind of f like feel that word, it just doesn't feel right to me. You know, it doesn't feel like it fits me. And yeah. I feel like, you know, I feel like I'm more like a prophet, you know, like, you know, for what I can do. I'm obviously more than a prophet, but that's the word I like to use. And... You know, you have dreaming and you have daydreaming, you know, daydreaming is like technically like a vision you're having while you're still awake, you know, your eyes are open yeah. and you're just kind of stuck, you know, lost in another world or not in a world, but maybe the same world, but it could be the future or the past. And okay. uh, this time I had a dream and I was telling everybody about it. I had a dream, dude. And I think I told you where like these all the nuclear power plants blew up. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I had like, I just remember people screaming, alarms going off, the dark, the skies were dark. Uh, they were like lit up in orange, like fire. Um, I just remember like, I was so excited because I was like, this is it finally, you know, like, you know, I can mm -hmm. finally, you know, like everybody's going to know the truth now. And, <clears throat> and the thing is, is that I, I don't know, like, I don't know. I just feel like the end is really coming soon. And yep. it's weird because I, I don't, you know, it could be, you know, it could have been a comment, whatever, you know, but, you know, we, you know, when I've always known about the book of Revelation, as do you, you know, we all know that the world wasn't destroyed, but most of it was destroyed through, you know, raining 40 days and 40 nights was with water. Yeah. And they say that the second, you know, the apocalypse or, you know, let's say the end times, it's all going to be a big ball of fire. You know, it's going to be. You know, it talks about it's going to be just, you know what I mean? Nothing survives this time. You know, there is no Noah's Ark, you know, like there's going to nope. be no survivors this time and it's going to be through fire. And it's just weird because like after this dream I had about these, all the nuclear power plants blowing up and, you know, everyone dying at one time, you know, all of us just dying at once instead of, you know, different time period, like different times. Um... Like the first thing I woke up and the first thing like I, I don't know. I just the first thing that like the first word that kind of came to cross my head when I first woke up from that dream was revelation. And then mm -hmm. I try to block it, you know, like, OK, you know, because that's when you know if it's like true or not or if it's a true vision or not. You try to block it. But when you try to block it, you just you can't. And then all of a sudden I'm on YouTube and a song comes on the very next day called Revelation. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, and I'm like, I'm like, here we go again. You know, this is how it works. Like, you know, what are the chances I had this dream? And then all of a sudden I wake up. The first word that pops on my head is revelation. And then all of a sudden I pop on YouTube and this song com comes up called revelation. And I'm, I'm like, like, how could I say? Like, I'm ready for anything, I guess you could say. Um, I don't, I know I don't speak to you about this, but currently right now, you know, I am suffering my, my, you know, living my mortal life. I'm suffering. Mm -hmm. I'm going to, you know, I know you don't know certain things at my job. You know, I got to go to a job, fit in with other people. I got to be normal. I can't talk about certain things. I don't want people knowing about me on certain things. And then, you know, and then obviously like any job, people start lying about certain things or they try to cause problems. Yeah, It's like, gosh, and I just, I just, I bite my tongue, dude. And I look at these people, especially at my job, you know, you know, cause the car business is brutal, dude. Not even the car business, but sales and, 
you know, doing all that sales kind of stuff, it's always been brutal. And, you know, there's a lot of jealousy involved, especially you're really good at what you do. And, you know, when you start becoming successful, you know, I always told people, uh, you know, um, jealousy is a virus others catch around successful people. And I've mm -hmm. always been successful wherever I've gone. And I've always felt this jealousy around me. And I've just had people that always lied and try to cause problems or say what they had to say. And sometimes I want to say certain things to them, but I know I can't because, you know, they can complain and it sucks because I bite my lip, just shake my head. Like if they only fucking knew who I was, you know, if they only knew, you know what I mean? Like you fuck with me, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life. You know, um, you know, they're, they're going to regret it, but it just sucks because I'm tired of biting my lip. I'm tired of, you know, like I said, like fitting in with the rest of these mortals and, you know, me having to fake my life, you know, mm -hmm. it's like, you know, as we both know, we both live a double life, you know, because yep. others won't understand us. Others won't, you know, they don't get it. And even if they tried, they, let's just say they started following my Instagram and they barely started watching my streams from years ago and they barely try to catch up. Right there, there's It's going to be impossible for any of them to catch up. It's going to be impossible for them to truly understand certain things because too much time has passed already for who, if you didn't know who I was or putting out into this world since, you know, let's say even uh, since 2011, um, mm -hmm. it's sort of like too late. You know what I mean? Like there's not enough time for them to catch up to find out what's going on and who I am and why I'm here on earth. Mm hmm. So sometimes, you know, I just, you know, like I told you, I feel like my purpose is done and I'm just here suffering now. I'm just here being humili humiliated. I feel like yeah. humiliation to me is having to get up, comb my hair, get dressed, go to work, deal with other people, fit in, get a, right. you know, get a paycheck, pay my bills, um, and just living this stupid life i have to live every fucking day over and over again and it's humiliating to me because this isn't my purpose this is what i shouldn't be doing but obviously i got to do what i got to do to survive while money still exists right yeah we all do yeah and i'm just i'm just like i said and uh and again i put it out there over and over I don't have suicidal thoughts, even though I say, man, I want to die or geez, I can't wait or damn, I want to get rid of this body so I can come back and really prove who I am because I just feel like this flesh that I'm in right now, the flesh, it's a prison. You know, I'm trapped in this flesh. I'm, 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 it's a prison. Like, you know, I, like, I was already so like... I'm so powerful, I'm so strong, and I'm so fast, and um, that nothing was able to handle me, and I don't know if I did something wrong, or I don't know if it was given to me as an experience, but I was put into this body to, to put limitations on myself. Now, mm -hmm. when it comes to the physicalness, yes, there's a lot of limitations of what I can do or what I used to be or do, but the words that come my mouth the knowledge and the wisdom and who I'm, what I'm able to show and prove, you know, that's still, it's still unlimited, but the only problem is the limitation is it's inside me still. And I don't know how to get it out of me. Uh, I used to, and I thought it was all out of me, but I still feel like there's more inside me. And because I'm feeling empty, I'm feeling yeah. like, you know, my energy has been off and I'm feeling empty. And I feel like before I was like, my tank was at three fourths and I'll, I was pulling it out. And then I was at one fourth filled, you know, like we'll just say my gas tank. It was like halfway filled and now it's one fourth. Now three fourths of this wisdom, knowledge and answers I have inside of me, three fourths of it got pulled out by me. Okay. And then I feel like the other, you know, and others had their little parts here and there, obviously. But now I feel like the other one fourth that's still inside me, which is probably the most important, I can't tap into it anymore. I can't pull it out anymore. I feel yeah. like I'm relying on others to get this out of me. Yeah. And um, I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure, uh, you know, what's going on in some ways, but in some ways, I, it's like, you know, that it's like that 
I'm not sure, but I am sure. Kind of like that kind of thing. So I don't know. I just, what do you think about all that? Like, you know, like, what do you think? And obviously we have deep conversations and stuff. And Sounds like you're in a rut, bro. In a rut? Mm-hmm. What do you mean? Or by you that? might be in a cocoon. You might be in a cocoon too. Mm. You might be in a second. So for me, I was in a cocoon and I came out of the cocoon. But what was in the cocoon was a human. What came out of the cocoon was a monster. So you may just be in a cocoon or you may have suppressed yourself somehow. You just gotta figure out where you suppressed yourself and how you're gonna get out of it. And I like that. But I don't know, like I like that. I mean, it could. It could. That's one. Two, you've already succeeded that, and you don't know how much. You, okay, so like well, Gandalf. Okay, hold yeah. on. Gandalf was gray. He became white, a white wizard. You may have already surpassed all of that and have nothing left to prove, but you know, but somewhere down deep inside, you go, shit, I do have something to prove, yeah. but I don't know how to pull it out of myself. I got you. And maybe, maybe. So there's two things you got to think about. One, are you in a cocoon? Are you going to come out of your cocoon and be even more sin? Or are you going to be, or are you going to be like I said, you're going to be Gandalf who comes out of nowhere and goes, I'm higher than white. I'm higher than gray. I'm higher than black, blue, red, brown, green whatever yeah. color you want to say it is and go i'm just <laughs> who's gonna stop me now like no, you said I, I got who's it. gonna stop you now when you get to that color to that radiant color that you can't even stop yourself Ooh, i like, that. like this i like who's that. gonna stop me who's gonna stop you who's gonna stop you i can't stop you you know what you know i'm I... just i'm just not, i'm just the knight of devils i'm just i'm a devil you're the angel <laughs> So obviously the angel is always going to overcome the devil, right? Not because necessarily because he, all I've, but if it's about all, in the Bible, like Bible, if you're going to go by the Bible, you're going to say revelations, you're going to beat me or I'm going to join you. And together we're just gotcha. going to kick out and take names and no one's going to stop us because we're going to, we're just going to be that good. And everybody's just going to be like, damn, what are we going to do with those two guys? I got you. Where, where is our place in line? Because we know Michael's more like Michael, the archangel is even more powerful than you, according to what I've read. But now when you're saying this, you may be Michael. You may be whoever you, you know, you may be. What Michael. do you think? You like I'm absorb. You think I'm absorbing everybody? Like know. it doesn't matter know, if it's you, Raphael, you could be, Michael. You could be, man. You could be. You absorbing could be, it. See, this you is the could, way I, you this is literally be just absorbing all of it, everything. and then all of a sudden you just go boom, rainbow, like, or maybe whatever, I whatever firework. Just think of like a firework. No, think the big your... bang. I absorbed it all, and then I just oh, could only yes. absorb them. Boom, yes. you know what I mean? It all came like yes. I absorbed it, and boom. Now you're just, but now you've gone over that. Yeah, and you're just waiting for that next bang. No, I get you. Now, when you Anyways, said the... it, it could be any of that, but you have to figure out yourself. You have to figure out. I mean, obviously, you're tired of being human. Yeah. You're tired of being mortal. You're tired of seeing yeah. people take advantage of you or yeah. them or, or make, you know, like you said, the car business is car. You know. yeah. I did sales. I understand your sales. So, yeah, there's always going to be jealousy. Like you said, jealousy. Yeah. Especially and, like if he's like you said, if you're one of the top sellers and they're not, of course they're going to be jealous of you. They're going to want to know how you did it. But of course, they're magic. not going to. You know, like I said, magic. Are they going to come to you and ask you? Are you willing to tell them what your success is? Probably not, because you want to keep that success to yourself, which is fine. That's just you. Me personally, I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm the opposite of everybody else. I want to. I'm going to succeed in my failures, like you said. You're going to go to the top of your level, and when you get to the top of your level, you're just going to. You're just going to be like a firecracker. Boom! <laughs> no one's going to be. I got you. You go. You're going to be spinning. <laughs> Like a pulsar, like a pulsar, like a star, you know, yes. a pulsar star, they yes. spin. And then Kinda no like one's going to be able to stop that. No one's going to stop that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you're going to either, like I said, you're already there to that point of 
where you you don't feel any more you don't feel any more worth of yourself because you don't know how to bring this out of yourself but i can't tell you i can just tell i mean i, I understand where you're coming from because i was there but i went to the plane of six times dying and coming back and realizing oh shit i don't know i just have to know the knowledge and i got the knowledge from just researching uh, and then I found you, and I was like, "Damn, this guy is the same as me." <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. And now, now we just have to figure out where our place is. What are we gonna do next? Who is it that we're going to place ourselves to? Basically, who are you I gonna place you. yourself to? You know. Now, real is quick, is from... it Satan? Is it Lucifer? I don't know. Is, you know, he, you don't even want to. Hey, you've told me you, you ain't for Lucifer. You told me you ain't for Satan. You told me you're not really for God either, but. You said you're um, more for your just yourself, right? Well, and it, a little you're, bit, you're, yeah. Well, I, I like I said, I feel like I feel like um, means you have confidence in yourself. That well, this means is you're... this is what I feel, and go I ahead, told people ahead, um because I don't want to forget what I'm gonna say, and I don't mean to really cut you off because I'll forget. Um, I feel like you know I was before I entered. I like the cocoon part because I feel like now that kind of gave me a vision that. You know, I was a caterpillar, you know, the caterpillar that was living and, you know what I mean? Like before I entered this body and I feel like the cocoon is this body. Like I'm inside um, developing into, and I never looked at myself like a butterfly. I've always looked at myself more like a moth, you know, like I've always been a, a fan of moths and I've always been a moth fan over butterflies. You know, I feel like butterflies are more feminine. More. You told me that I was like, yes, he is. You know, so that's why I look at it like before I, I came into this body, I was the caterpillar. I feel like now that I'm in this body, I'm the cocoon. You know what I mean? I'm uh, evolving. Is that what they do? They evolve. And I feel okay. like when I lose this body, that's when I'm going to become the moth. You know, like I just got to lose the body. Um, yeah. But I'm still the same person. I'm still going to have the same memories. I'm still going to remember yeah. everything is just now I evolved. Yeah. And um. And like I said, I just, um, you know, as I told you, you know, there's three, there's God, the Lord, and there's Lord God. Uh -huh. And I've had this, we like, I, there's something I found and I don't, I never spoke to anyone about this. And this would be the first time I've kind of mentioned it. You know, obviously God is like the grandfather and the Lord is like the father. And, you know, and I feel like me as Lord God, I'm like the grandson and the son, not only the son, but the grandson. Now, okay. when I say that, I'm talking S-U-N, not S-O-N, right? I'm okay. talking like son. And I feel like this is what's going on, you know, and this is and where I can't. This is one thing I can't understand. Ooh. I feel like you have God the Lord, and then down here, like a triangle, God, the Lord, and then Lord God, you know, like a triangle, right? And I feel like whatever knowledge God gains or whatever God knows becomes all three of, you know, all three of us gain that knowledge. Like we're all connected. It's like that one, remember it all in my business and my, my, one of my favorite, my favorite number is one, 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 you know, one, right. eleven. you know, one, eleven. And even on my business, you see my business, I'll have the symbolism of one, one, one. And mm -hmm. it represents God, the Lord and Lord God. And I feel like all three of us are connected mentally, spiritually, everything. We're all connected, all three of us, you know? Thank you. Thank you. So no matter what God learns, knows, understands, whatever it is, so does the Lord and so does me. And then mm. I feel like whatever okay. the Lord understands, gains and gets uh, and understands, the God gains that knowledge and so do I. Mm. The only difference, what's weird, is I feel like whatever knowledge, whatever I know, whatever I gain, it's only for me. Like for some odd reason, I am not my knowledge. Like I'm gaining the knowledge of God and the Lord as much as they gain, as much as they know. I'm gaining that knowledge. We all three of us are, but I feel like something has happened or I don't know why, but whatever knowledge I've gained on, on my own, instead of it working where we're all connected, gaining that same knowledge, only I am holding on to that. Only I gain it or only I know it. 
And mm. yeah, I'm like, why why is that? Why is it everything God gains and learns and knows and everything the Lord gains and knows, all three of us are connected where we all gain it. But for some odd reason, when I gain knowledge, wisdom, or know something or experience, Ooh. you know, experience something, only I'm gaining that and it's not spreading to the other two. You know, Ooh. like, you know, so there's a con so that's where that's where I'm stuck right now of understanding like we're stuck. I'm in a triangle with the Lord and the God. We're all Ooh. connected, but whatever they learn and under, you know, again, I'm repeating myself, but whatever they learn and experience. Yeah. I'm gaining that, but all three Ooh. of us are, but anything I learn and gain or whatever, they're not gaining that. They're not right. getting it. Uh, and, I, and that's where I'm kind of like, okay. I'm going to ask you this. Can you break the time? Can you break that triangle? Meaning like, like whatever they like, learned. Okay, like remember Superman, and then the the three the three the three gods went into that triangle. Can you break that triangle, and like somehow? Like, what's the purpose of like what, what, if I broke it? Meaning that you, whatever they learn you, and gain, I don't get. No, I you still get it, but it's like it just won't be as satisfactory. Okay. It may not be as satisfactory. I don't know. Maybe. I'm now, just asking if you can break. I don't know if you can break it, or do you I, I, wanna, I don't know. Like me, I, never, I don't know if you want to break that triangle or not. I don't. I don't know. You may not want to. Well, because I, I mean, feel like the reason why I don't want to break it is because they protect me. Because, exactly, like I said, because exactly. God, like I tell people, and I and you'll see it in my earlier stream. Like I did like a little secret stream that nobody knew about. And like I always tell people, you know, when God is good, he is God. And when God is evil and needs to use evil against evil, because sometimes good isn't strong enough to defeat certain evil, God has to become evil to destroy evil with evil. So God, it's like Halloween. God puts, yeah. a ma God puts on his mask and he becomes Satan. And he uses Satan, which is this alter ego, uh, this evil to destroy others or manipulate them just to destroy them, right? And yeah, then like the, the Lord, the Lord is good. And when he's good, he's the Lord. But again, good can't always defeat evil or you can't always teach evil a lesson with good. So you got to, you know, attack it with its own, you know, defeat it with its own medicine. So the Lord puts on a mask and he becomes mm -hmm. the devil, and the devil right. attacks, you know, and tests and manipulates evil just to destroy it. And mm. with me, yeah. as a yeah. as a Lord God, when I'm good, I'm Lord God. But when I take the mask off, I mean, when I when the mask up, when the mask goes on, you know, I'm sin. But mm. the only thing is that Satan, the devil, and sin all have different meanings. But right. what connects all three of us is evil. Meaning mm. we're going to attack evil with evil. We would never attack good, you know, right. um, maybe Satan, the devil and sin. We would all manipulate people to try to confuse them or, or test them or see if they, they are really good people, which we can't touch them if they really are good. Because no matter what we do, they're going to, you know, they're not going to be tempted. And then, right. of course, others who never thought they'd be tempted, we did our job and tempted them, and now we should destroy them with evil because you should have never been tempted. Um, and I feel like, you know, I feel like sin is a lot more powerful than God yeah. than God and Satan, and it's sin is a lot more powerful than the Lord and the devil, and sin and the Lord God is a lot more powerful. But I do will admit i feel like sometimes sin or myself even as lord god i am so strong and fast and powerful i rely on god and the lord to help me to to control like to like to guide me because i'm pretty sh i know they've probably made mistakes i would have made and i learned mm -hmm. from them and they it's like the lord or the devil is like don't you know i learn from me like i trust me this is very hard to control you know, take control of it or the God. Right. Hey, I got you. It's like, you know, it's like me losing control. And then, you know, God, you know, which is Satan and the Lord, which is the devil, they come together and say, look, sin, like, we're going to help you control this. And you're going to, and as soon as you master this control, you know, we're, we're going to be able okay. to separate from each other and do our deeds wherever we need to do our that's, deeds that's at. That's what you need, bro. You need control. 
Yes. And I have gained a lot of control since five years ago to now. I've gained a lot of control, but I relied on them to like learn. I learned from them. I've, mm. I've, um, how could I say? I've, I've studied their life. I've seen things. Th it's weird. I know it might sound weird, but I've seen things no, no, through fine. their. I've seen things through their eyes that nobody else has seen. Like I'm the only one that can see through their eyes of what they've been through. I can feel right. what they've been through. I can understand right. what they've been through. I, I know the story behind it. I. Right. You know what I mean? Like, and I feel like I wouldn't let some of these, some of this out if it wasn't for, um, them helping me control myself on how to let it out because mm. you can always let something out the wrong way. And it just takes one small interpret, a uh, small interpretation of something, um, the misinterpretation of something, uh, that can really screw things up in the future. Mm. And, um, and like I said, and what's funny is that I was, when I'm saying this, I feel like it's just us three all alone. And I feel like, you know, I felt the lonely, the, the, I felt the loneliness that God has been going through, I guess, for beyond years. Like you can't even say years because it's beyond that. And then I feel like, you know, the same with the Lord, he kind of went through the same thing God did and feeling that loneliness, like something was missing. Mm. And then I feel like this was before, you know, um, I guess a goddess was discovered. This mm. was before uh, a Lordess was discovered. And right. by me, me seeing when God found goddess and me seeing when the Lord found Lordess, it made hmm. me know like there's a lordess goddess out there for me. Yeah, um, you know, they found theirs and I need to find mine, but it's not that easy. You know, it takes, oh. it takes time. It, you have to search for her throughout time. You got to search for her in the past. You got to search for her in the future. And then once you find her, you got to bring them, bring the past and the future together and you gotta you gotta find her in the present. Like she's always gonna be in the future. And she mm -hmm. might be lost because you never found her. And she's always gonna be in the past. And again, she you just nobody knows because she, I haven't found her. But as you squeeze the past and the future together to, into this present, she's here. But mm -hmm. it's just you don't know who she is yet, you know, like you know it's there. And I feel like, you know, when there's a God, there's a goddess. When there's a Lord, you know, like the Lord is like the male and the and the and the Lord is a female. Lord, you know, Lord God is a male, Lord is God is a female. I feel like, you know, you have a dragon, which a dragon is like a male, and then you have a dragoness, which is like a female. Um, you know, you have the dark, which is male, and then you have darkness, which is female. You know what I mean? So it always seems like there's a connection throughout, no matter where, between a, a um, you know, a male and a female. And there have been places I feel like I've been with Lord God, I mean, with God and, and the Lord as Lord God, where we were all alone. There, We didn't have any knowledge or we didn't know anything about females, what they're about. We didn't know what the other side of love was like, I loved God. I loved the Lord. They loved me. But that was more like that family type of love. Like, Hey, I love you, dude. You know, mm -hmm. like we have that love for each other, but there's a different type of love when it comes to a female where you want to marry them and be with them forever. And there's lust involved and there's passion involved. And I feel like I've been to a place where we were all alone and they didn't exist. And if they did, it was like two different universes. Like we're living in this universe where it's just all about us. And we have no knowledge or information about a goddess or lordess or anything about that, where there's an opposite, um, you know, where there's an, um, where, you know, there's just nothing to do with females. Like we're just, and for, we didn't know why we're feeling so alone. And then, Again, God met goddess first before, you know, I met my other half and the Lord did. I still haven't met my other half, but the Lord has already met his other half. God has already mm. met his other half. But it was through God where it was like, I don't know. I mean, I'm just giving a, the best explanation I could. I don't know yeah, if it really yeah. happened this way, but it was mm. like maybe God was stuck in the universe or God was stuck in heaven 
and she wasn't there. And you, when you're living in a place forever, you know, not knowing there's another place, it's like God found the exit. He was able to exit out of the universe or exit out of heaven. And then all of a sudden he's entering this other place and he's like, what is this? Who is that? What is a goddess? Wow. She's just like me. What is this love that I'm feeling that I've never felt before? It feels different than what I felt for the Lord and Lord God. Like, what is this? You know? And then all of a sudden it starts with the conversation. It starts with laws of attraction. It starts, And then all of a sudden God's in love and he's figuring himself out like the new, the new side of him. And he's feeling, he's not feeling lonely anymore. And I feel like I was, I was like, it, it's weird because I felt like I saw all of this. I understand all of this through the eyes of the Lord, not my <laughs> eyes, but through the Lord's eyes where the Lord was able to see what God was going through. And the Lord followed in God's footsteps and he wanted what God had or what God found. And mm. then I was able to see through the eyes of God and the Lord. But at first I couldn't see through God's eyes. I couldn't, un I didn't know where God went. You know, I don't mm. know what was going on. And me seeing through the Lord's eyes, it tapped into God's eyes and was feeling. And then the Lord followed in his footsteps. And then as the Lord found his Lordess and, you know what I mean? And let's just say God and goddess and the Lord and Lordess are double dating now, having fun. They <laughs> understand like kind of like that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Then I started seeing it through their eyes and me, I was like alone. And I'm like, right. I, I don't want to feel like this anymore. I want to feel like God and Lord. I want to feel like how they're feeling now. And I feel like I exit. I, I found the exit where I needed to leave. And now, um, I'm still in search. I'm still trying to find the love of my life. And before right. I didn't care, I was always alone. I was used to it. I was, hmm. you know what I mean? Like I was, I, there was certain feelings I never had. So I didn't know what they felt like. And then now that I've gained certain feelings, it's like, I want it. I want to be, you know, I want it to, I don't know, like now I I know what I want, but bef because I feel it and I know it and I see it and I understand it compared to before, I didn't know what I wanted because I'd never felt it before or seen it or understood mm -hmm. it. Does that kind of make sense in some ways? That makes sense, makes sense, yeah. You know, so yeah. I don't know. That's why I'm just mm -hmm. trying to like, and it might sound cheesy, but damn, I never... I you know, I just, I just, I don't know. It's just weird in my head. I was like, man, I just can't wait. I want to rule this world. I want to, I want to rule this world, but I want to rule this world with the right person by my side. And it has to be the perfect woman, the perfect goddess, the perfect lordess goddess, the perfect dragoness, the perfect darkness, the perfect, mm -hmm. you know, like she has to be perfect and not in it to anybody else but she has to be perfect yeah. to me. And mm -hmm. as soon as I feel like, you know, like I have that, that's when I'm going to feel ready to rule this world. I'm going to be ready to rule all worlds. I'm going to be ready to destroy, you know, mm -hmm. and I don't want to do all of that on my own. I don't, I, I want somebody by my side because I've seen God at his lowest, and I seen that that type of love or that special person, which is goddess, the the, the how how she changed him. I seen how hey. Lord has changed the Lord. Um, I seen you know like a lot of things where you know they became something I never thought they would become, and it all hey. took a certain type of love and it took a certain type of person which a person to me is still like a soul or a spirit, you know? And um, yeah, dude. And, and it's just been a little bit confusing because it's still in pieces right now. Um, you know, every day I'm trying to piece it all together. You know, some days it's a little bit more cloudier than others. But, you know, when the sun shines, it's like my vision is clear of what, you know, what it is. And um it's just sometimes it's a little hard, you know, and like I said, like there's some 
dude, like not against you or others or anything else. And I hope you feel the same way, but there's just certain conversations that, yeah, you can have with a friend, a guy friend and, or a buddy or a family member. You can never have that same conversation like you would with your other half, you know, or just you two, you know? So Mm -hmm. yeah, you know, that's kind of where, you know, I'm at right now. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. But um, I do. I do like the cocoon part. I get it. You know, I was a caterpillar. Um, in this body, stuck in this cocoon right now. And like I said, I'm just waiting to become the moth. You know. And who knows? Whoever she is, whoever's my other half. You know, she was a caterpillar, and she's in the body just like me right now in a cocoon. Mm-hmm. And she's going to be the butterfly, you know, it's like the, like the moth and the butterfly coming together, you know? Mm. Um, so I don't know, dude, it's just, I've just been a little bit lost lately. I've just been a little bit frustrated because there's just certain things I can't talk to with people because they won't understand. And I'm just getting very, very frustrated blending in with others, mm-hmm. you know, blending mm-hmm. in with mortals, I guess you could say, and, and them literally thinking they're better than me or thinking they're my equal or thinking they can lie <laughs> or backstab me or do whatever they want to do thinking oh because laws protect them and you know what i mean like they're safe but again nobody's safe dude you're mm-hmm. never safe until you pass judgment and then you you know you're living forever once you pass judgment and you're living forever that's when you can feel safe but until then you should never feel safe because as I said, you never know who, who, you know, you never know who could come across your path. And just because they look human or just because they, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. act like they're mortal doesn't mean they are, you right. know, and I don't think they understand that yet. Hmm. So. You got that. So tell me a little, you know, tell me a little bit more. Oh, I, I, hmm. I'm just trying to figure it out, man. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> yeah, I noticed. Yeah, so, but again... It's a predicament, but I think you can pull yourself out of it. You just have to figure out... You have to ask yourself... I think you have to ask yourself, or you have to ask three of yourselves, what's the next level, whatever your level is, and then maybe, I don't know, maybe they're going to tell you. I don't know. I don't <laughs> me, know. I, I don't know. Mine just... I just told him mine for me. I just, told, you know, I finally told my, my, the, the person that was in, inside me, I told it, you know, I'm ready to join it. And when I told him I was ready to join it, and he was like, nah, you're not ready for this. He just had this big old smirky smile. And then I was like, no, dude, I'm ready to join it, bro. And I was like, yeah. And then uh, the next thing I know, yep. And he's like, all right, mm, you know, you really think so? Let's do it. And I was like, all right. <clears throat> and you know, and it's, do you that, feel like that it's male? rabbit hole, like you said, then down that rabbit hole you go. And now you're just, now I'm just like, okay, <laughs> I am the knight. And you are the thin. And what are you going to do? <laughs> like, like I said, what are you going to do when both of us realize our, 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 our major power, what our power actually is? And then it explodes, and then we're just like, damn, okay. <laughs> All right, what's next out of that? No. I have a next. There's no next. No, catch this. You know, you say you, you'd like speak to yourself, and you know, like mm-hmm. whatever's inside you speak to it. Does it mm-hmm. feel like it's you? Does it feel like. It's me, yeah. It's, it's okay. definitely. It was, for me, it was, uh, took a little bit to understand who I was, but yeah, it was me. Ooh, what the? What the? Yeah, see, sometimes I feel I know what you're talking about because sometimes I do feel like I could speak to myself, and then right. sometimes I don't feel like I'm speaking to myself. I do feel like it's a female energy inside me, or it's like hmm. I feel like I have my you know, like males have spirits and females have souls, you know, hmm. and I feel yeah, like. Right. And I feel like you know, like when I speak to myself, I'm speaking to my spirit. 
you mm. know, which is me, you know, which my spirit comes from the future and the past. And I, there, there are other times I know I'm not speaking to myself. I feel like I'm speaking to her. You know, who is she? I don't know who she is, but I've always had it with me, like, even as a child, where mm -hmm. at first she felt like a motherly figure, like a motherly energy, mm -hmm. but it wasn't my mom, but it was like a motherly, like, she Got was it. older, and I feel like, but the thing is, even though she's older, she doesn't keep getting older. She just stays the same age, which there is mm. no, there's no age involved. It just, she stays the same. And I felt like she's been with me, watching me grow up, waiting for me to get at her level, waiting for me to reach her age, which again, no age involved, but age is only involved based off your knowledge and what you know and who you are. And I felt like throughout mm. my life, I know when I'm speaking to myself, which is my spirit. And then there's other times I'm, I know I'm not speaking to myself. I'm speaking to a soul, which is her. And I always say her because I don't know who she is. And I felt hmm. like now I am, I'm at the same age as her. I'm at her level now, but she was there before me. She was just somehow inside mm -hmm. of me. Too. So mine was, mine was definitely there before me. Huh? I said, me too. Mine was definitely there before me. I get that. Yeah. So that's why I was like, wow. And the thing is, is that I don't feel that motherly energy from her anymore. I feel like she, I feel like I don't need it. Like, you know, like I have my human mother, you know, and I, 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 that's, you know, I love that motherly feeling from my human mother, but whoever this person is, which is my other half, like, I don't feel that motherly feeling anymore. Like, she needs to, like, watch over me anymore because I've already, you know, I'm like, I wouldn't say surpass her because I feel like that would be a little bit disrespectful. But in some ways, I think she wanted me to surpass her so she can start gaining more than she's ever have. And it took me to surpass her. So then now she can try to surpass me. And I'm like, I feel like I'm, I, I, I was everything that she knew that I was. And she's been with there with me as a kid growing up, but she's always been inside of me. And maybe she's been outside of me, which where I couldn't see her. Uh, but she like knows my entire life because she's been through it all. And mm. I, like I said, I just know the difference between when I'm speaking to myself and then when I'm speaking to her. And right. like I said, so it's just, you know what I mean? It's just like, um, you know, just, and my, I guess that's why in some ways I don't, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of always question, like, who is she? And do I need to die to find her? Do I need to die until she appears? Do I need to get rid of this body? And, and then that's when we meet each other. Or are we going to meet each other before judgment? Are we going to meet each other while we're still in these forms? Well, are we going to meet each other while she's still in her cocoon and I'm still in my cocoon? Are we going to meet each other and then, hey, hold hands when the world goes to shit? And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden we hatch out of these cocoons, which is these bodies. And then now she's this beautiful butterfly forever. And then I'm going to yeah, be like her, you know, and I'm going to be her moth forever. And hey, we found each other while we were still in our cocoons, you know. Mm -hmm. And it's like, look, I know you've always been there with me and I'm here now. And I don't know if I've been there with her. And then, you know what I mean? Because there's a good possibility you know, whoever she is, a part of me might be inside of her and she could be talking to herself and then talking to me, but not knowing that I'm here, that I exist. Does that hmm. make sense? Yep. It's like, she's going through the same thing I am, but just the opposite, you know, right. like the opposite, she's just the opposite sex. Hmm. No, it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, right. So but I like it. it I mean, sense. I don't know how else to explain it. You know, I just, it's just certain things, like I said, I don't talk about. And as I told you earlier, like, I can't really bring this out of me on my own. It just takes speaking to other people and, and whoever it is. And it just brings it out of me where obviously you got to make me feel comfortable to talk about it. Right. You know, because I don't, I don't, dude, I don't go to therapist. I went to a therapist maybe once for the first time in my life, I went to a therapist Mm. I've been to one before too. Four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And you know what happened? 
I shit but, you not, am not joking about this, and I put it on everything. After I had a one hour conversation about that to them, like the way I talked to you and others, they got fucking scared and they quit their job. I, bet. I, I was going to go back the week afterwards to go. And I could tell because when I was speaking to them and they were like, dude, you could see and sense and feel the fear in them. And I always mm. remember this dude. And he was a black guy, bald head. And, I'm, and he was doing bad. And then when I was talking to him, he was, I was like, and I was talking about immortality and this and that and just talking, you know, but I have control of it. I, like he even said, he's like, you're not, it's weird because you're not the only one who said this before. Like, but he's like, you were, you don't like others were like in pieces. Like others were saying what you're saying, but more like saying it more crazier and you're more tapped in where you're like this. But he, he, he was getting scared. The more I would tell him, the more I felt like he just wanted the session over with and wanted me to get the fuck out of there. Or I felt mm. like he didn't want me to say anything anymore because my words were going to haunt him forever. And I remember I made an appointment to go see him the week after and he quit. Mm. And then they were going to sign me another therapist. And I said, nah, I'm good. I, I already knew what was going on or what happened. I was like, I'm good. I don't need this shit. And this was before I started getting into live streaming. Hmm. So since I couldn't rely on other people, I started relying on myself, the internet and live streaming. And I just started live streaming like I'm having a therapy with, you know, but my doctor is the camera. My doctor is connecting <laughs> no, with like others, that, like, you know, and you're so uh, in yourself. I like that. Yeah. So because I had to get it out of me because I feel like if I didn't find a way to get out of me one way or another, it really was driving me crazy and I felt like I was losing my like losing my mind. And because I tell people it's like, you know, when you know, now that I know I'm an angel, you know, you have messages in you and each message is they're alive, you know, it's like alive and they haunt you. They 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 just do they drive you nuts, they just tear away at you. It's like they're on the inside of me trying to claw their way out. And I just finally, in order to make it stop, I got to let it out. And I let it out with my mouth. I let it out through pictures. I let it out through videos. I have to let this out somehow. And then now everything that was alive within me, it's outside of me now living. And the message is released. And now it's no longer inside of me clawing its way out. Mm -hmm. You know? Come here. Come here. Yeah, so... Yeah. Hey, buddy. Your cat? Mm-hmm. Oh. You hear him? Yeah. You hear him, Mary? Yeah. No. Where's Egypt? Oh, Egypt, come here. I don't even know where my cat's at. Somewhere around here. Right here. But, um, yeah, dude. T tell me a little bit more about your journey. Or, like, I don't know, maybe certain things that like, I haven't heard before. I didn't... Like I said, well, I mean, for me, I was scared. I mean, sure. I mean, for me, I was scared. I was a scared little kid. I was a scared human being. And Same. then one day I just said, one day I just used Yosemite Sam's greatest quote. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> so I told gotcha. him, let me join you. And when I told him that, he told me I wasn't ready. And then I told him, no, man, let me join you. And then I drank from him and blah, 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 blah. And here I am. Come here. Come on. I got you. And then, um, so then the death part, like yours, I mm -hmm. saw a big cloud. Um, I saw, told me I wasn't ready. I went back, asked me questions. Again, told me I wasn't ready. Then saw Jesus. Jesus grabbed me by his hand. He walked me around the kingdom. I felt the most love that you could even feel, like you said uh the most like like you like uh, i can't even explain it and then then you know did jesus three, four, have five, imagery he just grabbed me by my hand and just showed me around like no but did he have imagery did you just feel it or did you actually see what I he felt looked like it. i felt it i felt it there was no there was it was a real life like it was like me walking me coming to your house and you showing me around your crib okay i think but never so seeing I, who I look, but never seeing what I look like. Right, right, exactly in a weird way. But um, for me, I I saw myself. Anyways, um, I saw 
my human side die. And then I just, he just told me I had to, this was the way it was going to be. And I was like, okay. And then four, five, four, five, six was um, me asking the question, but at the same time, the father figure got mad. So I felt the wrath of hell. Like you said, I felt, I saw souls trapped, yelling, screaming, wanting out. I was like, oh shit. But then it was also the world, like you said. It's the, it was Earth itself screaming because all these people are trapped here and they don't know the truth. Like, and we're, and we're supposed to tell them the truth and they're supposed to figure out for themselves in a weird way, but we're like the keys to telling them the truth and then we tell them the truth and then it's up to them to to go their way, right? And well, so, we ha- it was like, yeah, we ha- we were the key, but it's up to them to open up the lock. Exactly, that, that. okay. So perfect, perfect sense. Mm-hmm. So then go around, find friends that need help. I started finding the people that like stopped to ask me questions. So I would tell them the answer. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so that's one person. Here's two people. Then I found the girl. And then she was the hardest one to like break out of the shell that she was in because she was in love. Like you said, she was in love with a man. That man just didn't treat her right. And uh, But he also at the same time figured out why he wasn't treating her right. It was because they had a past relationship. <laughs> I was like, oh, fuck. Anyways, so that's a conundrum in itself. Yeah. So I had to figure out how to help her with that. They're still fine. He became my best friend. One of my best friends named Randy. Uh-huh. Fucking Randy and I then sitting with him, saw him and I in sword fighting. I fucking kick his ass in sword fighting. Fangs come out of him, so I knew he was a vampire. Fangs okay. come out of me. We have a big ass wrestling match. I fucking he had me in a submission hold that I probably shouldn't have even got out of. Next thing I know, I go underneath him and I fucking this guy was big. This guy was a strong dude, right? And this is all in our minds, but it's happening in real life at the same time. So Matrix. So I'm go I go under him, I grab him, my fucking German suplex in that motherfucker. And I hurt him. I hurt him bad, bro. And I didn't mean to hurt him. <laughs> so when we fucking, when we come to to reality, his shoulder is fucking out of fucking place. He's got a fucking, basically he's got a, like a stinger slash separated shoulder. Okay. And it's just like, how the fuck did I do that? And then the girl I was with was a witch and she just told me you're just power, more powerful than him. You're more powerful than anybody I've seen. And I was like, Oh, okay. I got you. And then, like I said, you found, I found your stream or you found my stream or something. And I was like, this guy is, this guy's no joke too. And then I, and just talking to you, I can already say that, like I said, I feel like I'm equal to you, but once you hit your level, the level that you really want to hit, and that's up to you when you want to hit that level, you'll be higher than me. And yeah. I'm I'm going to be, uh, like I said, I can either join you or I can go against you, which, you know, that would just be dumb of me. But in I, my I, dream, I know I, and my dreams, I've always joined the angels. So obviously I joined the angels. So you're an angel. So obviously I'm going to join you. But I feel like, I feel like all angels. I, right, I feel like as an immortal, exactly. immortal war angels are werewolves. We are yeah, vampires. Exactly. We are yeah, demons. Exactly. We are, though, I can't, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm hey, going to remember an immortal I war angel. You and then, like I is, said, this world, uh, the, the second coming of the fake, whatever you want to call him, comes and we just, we kick the shit out of his ass. And then, like, the world is safe. For a thousand years, which is what it says, which is actually a prophecy, right? Uh huh. And then after the thousand years, it's released again. But this time, you and I can't do anything. Like, we're, 
our hands are tied in a weird way. The mortal people have to, I don't know what's the word, what's the word? They have to come to like, they have to realize that they're, 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 they're uh, I don't know. They're gonna be okay, or what? I don't know. They they have to find their own like path, like you said. And then the, once they find their own path, it's like we're released again, and then it's just like we're over everybody, and there's nobody that really can control us. We just choose our own. You choose your fate. I choose mine. We go our separate ways, but at the same time, we shake hands and it's Batman, Superman type thing, and we'll see you down the fucking road. Yeah, okay. And then I don't know where you go. I don't I just don't know where you go and you don't know where I go. Mm -hmm. But somehow or another we'll boom, we'll come to that fork in the road and we'll be like, Hey buddy, what's up? What have you been up to? And then you'll tell me and I'll tell you, or you'll close your eyes and touch me and you'll see every fucking thing I've done. And I'll just be standing there like, oh, okay. And then I'll touch you. But I can't see what you've been doing. But you can tell me what you've been doing. But you'll have that smile on your face. I'm like, okay. So you'll tell me what you've been doing, but I can't touch you like you can touch me. But it's it's, it's crazy, man. But it, it, yeah. But I'll get to the point where I can touch you and I can see what you're doing. I'll get to that point where I'll won't have to. You won't have to tell me anything. I'll see what you're doing, and I'll be like, okay, he's doing that. I'm over here doing this. My buddy Nate's over there doing this. My buddy John is over here doing that. All right, let's do this, you know, type thing. So I don't know, man. It's just, it's like the Joker said, put a little chaos in chaos. Yeah. So put a little chaos in chaos, but be good about it. <laughs> no, I but got you. Be bad you. about it. Yeah, I got you. But, just don't flip it, you know. Don't go toward whatever the the temptation is. Don't go toward that temptation, because we're gonna be just that good. And like I told my parents, don't. Whenever I, whatever I've told you, wait for God and Jesus to tell you that, you know. And I don't care if you tell me I'm right or wrong. I just want you to come find me in heaven and give me a hug. That will tell me you know. But I told you was true. <laughs> and that's why I told my parents. Told my parents were like, all right, all right. Are we like that? We'll hug you. We'll hug you. And I was like, exactly. And I will say, and I said, and you'll hug the guy that's next to me or the girl that's next to me or the person that's next to me after that. You'll just go down the line, like, hugging all these people. And like, thank you for letting us know. Thank you for sharing this with us. It's like, yeah. you're welcome. No, now, no, no, are you going to use it? Now, it's up to them. Like you said, now it's up to them. For them to use it. No, I got you. I got you. Then Satan will come out of his closet and he's going to tempt one of us. It doesn't matter who. He's going to find the weak, the most weakest thing. For you, it's going to be love. Yeah. Yes. For me, it's going to be vampire. Mm -hmm. Money. Riches. Okay. Mm -hmm. He's going to try to use that against us, but we're going to be so goddamn good. You and I will be so goddamn He can't even touch us. But he'll go after my parents. He'll go after your goddess. He'll go yeah. after your goddess. Okay? You're right. You're right. Mm. You're that's right. when they have to make that decision. Because if they don't and they follow him, that's going to be, like you said, that's going to be their hell. They're not going to be able to get out of that hell. They're going to go down that fiery path of doom yeah. and destruction. <laughs> their bodies aren't going to be the same. But yeah. for us, we'll be fine. But that's when... Our intervention can't, we can no longer hold out our hands, hold their hands, right? Yeah. And grab them by their piggyback them, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, I could piggyback you and you'll see one footprint in the sand, just like it says in the Bible, right? Okay. It's like, damn, devil, you can do that? Yeah. Or I can get on your back. You can do the goddamn same thing. I may be like, damn, sin, you can do that? And yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, bro. I got you. You can actually raise me up. The thing, the difference is, I can hold you with one foot in the sand, and you'll be like, damn, devil, that's badass. Mm -hmm. But when I get on you and you start doing it, you can overplane me, and you can just lift me up like I'm a little kid, and you can be like, 
and you can just hold me with one hand. I won't even see your footsteps anymore. I'll just feel your hand holding my foot or holding my feet. And you're just like, that's it, bro. <laughs> but one day you'll show me that and I'll be doing the same thing with everybody else. And then that's when we know that we've made it <laughs> to like the ultimate cocoon has popped open. Like you said, you become the moth. I become whatever I want to be. And dude, we're just like, boom. <laughs> I you got know? you. And then, you know, it got me thinking and this kind of just popped in my head. You know, remember what you wrote about being heaven and hell, you know, becoming heaven and hell. Mm -hmm. And I feel mm -hmm. like, you know, when we become heaven, you know, everything inside of us is heaven. You know, like whatever yep, is. is in heaven, it's inside of us because we are actually mm -hmm. heaven. And mm -hmm. I feel like when we become hell, everything that's within hell is inside of us because we're hell. Mm -hmm. And right. it got me thinking, yeah. like, you know, I've been feeling empty inside and I'm not sure why. And I'm and uh, I kind of came you to don't have anybody else talking to you like this. No, it's just more like I've already become heaven mm -hmm. and I've already I, I understand heaven 100 percent because everything that was a part of heaven you. was no. within me. God was within me. The angels, mm -hmm. the dragon, um, you name it, whatever it was that was in heaven or involved heaven, it was inside me because I became heaven. Mm -hmm. And I feel like when I, again, when I became hell, you know, Satan, demons, uh, even, you know, another type of dragon, uh, you know, we'll just say, you know, nobody knows if hell is really fire, but whatever was a part of hell was, you know, I oh, felt sure. it inside me. So I never, but I still never felt empty inside and I started, and I, bro. yeah, well, I started thinking though, I said, well, the torture is right now feeling empty inside. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is I feel like now I've become the abyss. Oh, I've, nice. I've already surpassed heaven. I felt every, I, I didn't feel empty inside because I was heaven. Mm -hmm. And then when I became hell, I didn't feel empty inside because I was hell. And then now I feel empty inside and I kept telling myself, like, why am I feeling empty? And it just clicked in my head, like, I think I've become the abyss now. You know, now that I've come to the abyss, you know, I became the mm -hmm. abyss. I am feeling what's inside the abyss, which is emptiness. There's nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a place worse than hell. You know, it's a place that heaven can't even imagine because the emptiness the you know like it's just it's dark it's empty it's just you feel it you know it there's just it's like the abyss nice. is just one big black hole dude and it's just nothing there's just nothing I and <laughs> you know and i feel like even if i try to add something into the abyss which is myself it all gets sucked away. It disappears and it's just, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So that's where I look at it as, is that, you know, maybe that's, that's what I'm feeling. You know, maybe that's what I've become, you know, that's what I've become it's now. Hmm? It's possible. I said it's possible. So, I mean, I, I... but yeah, I get where you're coming from, dude. I understand, you know, I understand. I'm really mad. Huh? Uh, I said, oops, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> oh. uh, I, I jumped in Fortnite real quick on accident. <laughs> I, was to you. I was talking to you and I didn't move. My character just got destroyed. Oh, Anyways, that's funny. That's crazy. No, that's cool. No, no, you're right, though. What is, yeah. uh, do you have anybody in your chat? Nobody's talking to you, huh? No, I, dude, like, man, I can easily, like, there's ways I can build my channel. You know what I mean? No, like, no, I no, could... no, I'm not saying that. I'm, no, no. Like, are a Ranger X didn't come in today? No. There's like I said, there's okay. ways I could build my channel to get people involved, but I'm just a more private kind of person. I look at it yeah, like I'm that. not hiding myself. Uh, it's all out there. I put it all there. It's you yeah, know you anybody can anybody yeah. can find me, but there's just so many distractions and there's just so many, um, you know what I mean. So much, you know. I feel like I'm being hidden by like you can find me, but I'm being hidden by all the uh pollution of others <laughs> trying to be streamers for their own bullshit or others trying to create their own instagrams for their own purposes and of course people are view botting and people are uh getting you know using bots as followers to build themselves into something bigger 
And like I said, and the more and more that they use these bots for everything, the more and more is just putting me to the bottom where I'm staying more mm -hmm. hidden, where nobody's knowing who I am because there's others out there, you know, like trying to become gods and goddesses. You mm -hmm. know, they're trying to be worshipped by others through bots. And mm. like I said, and I'm not going to do that, you know, I'd rather just continue to do it, you know, how I'm doing it now. And they want to find me. I'm here. I'm not hiding. But again, I'm just it's getting harder and harder for me to be found because, you know what I mean? Of, you know, like for an yeah, example, yeah. let me see. I'll give you an example. No, I don't. Um, watch, I'll give you I'll give you a good example. And this is what I what blew my mind, dude. Did you get that recap? Um, let me see. Did you get that recap where it, uh, it told you like, like who, let me see. It told yeah, you like your, your Twitch recap. Yeah. yeah I got it. Did you see how many, let me see. I'm trying to find it. Did you see how many people became affiliates within the year and how many people became partners within the year? No, I didn't. So on there, it showed how, and I forgot the number. I would have to look it up, but it was thousands and thousands of people. Really? Within one year, within one year, like thousands and thousands of people become affiliates. And then within hmm. one year, thousands and thousands of people became partners. Hmm. And I was like, holy fuck, dude, are these many people... Like, is it really like, 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 that's just going to hide me even more. I'm not mm. going to fight for popularity over yeah, all. To. I'm not going to fight for popularity over all these other thousands. And I mean, we'll even won't even talk about Twitch. We'll talk about the entire world. I am not going to fight these millions upon millions of people for popularity over Instagram, Twitter, mm. uh, you know, Twitch, um, uh, TikTok, um, wherever, you know, Reddit, you know, I'm not going to fight all these people for popularity, you know what I mean? And, and I'm like, and all these people are fighting for popularity and there's millions of them. And I Bad. said, even this, this year alone, not last year, the year before, but this year alone, there's thousands. Of, when I saw that recap, I said, that is a lot of affiliates within one year. And then I looked at three. I was like, wow, that's a lot of partners within one year. And I was like, all these people are fighting for popularity. Yeah. And like I said, and I was like, well, I guess, you know, it's just going to become a lot harder now for me to become, you know, like, like I know my purpose. I know my purpose is to connect with others. I know my, and I mean, I haven't even reached the peak of my, of what I can do, what I'm about. Uh, for me to really reach my peak and see who I really am, what about, I would have to do like a live stream outside somewhere and start reaching out to others or t speak to people outside of my room, outside of be who I am, but outside. And I did it before. I have some live streams where I did go out and I did interact with others in person and live streamed it. Okay. And I and I feel like, but it's hard because, you know, the, the world's so fucked up i can't even get proper phone service you know what i mean to do a live stream you know when i head out and it all it just fucks up and then i'm not going to spend thousands of dollars every month on this superior internet backpack you know and as i look at it like well this world should i mean you know i have verizon dude like i shouldn't have these issues with my service where i can't even live stream but I am because this world's so fucked up that I can't even do what I'm here put to do. I, I'm limited. And maybe there's a purpose behind it or not, but my full potential will be putting me out in front of others in this world with a camera in front of me and then seeing what I could pull out of them or what they could pull out of me. It's like a game. It's like, all right, let's just see how powerful you really are. If you're that powerful... You're going to pull knowledge within me that I didn't even know I had. And we're going to have a conversation where I even was like, wow, that blew my mind. Or I'm going to do the same with them where I'm going to pull things out of them where they're like, holy shit. Like, I didn't even know that was in me. And, mm -hmm. it, you know, but the thing is, is like I said, um, 
I'm not going to be fighting for popularity. I'm not going to be fighting to be on top of Twitch or Instagram or anywhere else. I'm not going to do that. I just felt like I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. And I already know um, I'm doing something nobody else has. I look at my Instagram. I look at others. I'm like, nobody even comes close to me. I look at, you know, some of the things I write on Reddit and do, nobody's ever come close to me even. And it's just, and I don't even post a lot. I just post once in a while. Like I haven't even posted a while on my Twitter, you know, on my Twitter, I look at it like, damn, nobody's ever, nobody's coming close to me. I look at my live streams on Twitch. Fuck, nobody even comes close to me. Again, when it comes to the, the subject I talk about or what I do, which mainly it is my life. Mm -hmm. um so like i said i just feel like i am doing something different and i do get praise for it but at the same time there just doesn't seem no acknowledgement still you know there's still no acknowledgement because mm -hmm. there's just too many distractions or certain people being led in the wrong direction now let's mm -hmm. say i came out like this let's say 20 years ago obviously i'm gonna be pretty popular or pretty up there and i'm gonna have a lot of these uh kids you know what i mean i'm gonna have a lot of these kids and everything um you know uh, children or teenagers that uh they're gonna look up to me because they know who i am because they're they, you know not everybody uh you know did you know the internet kind of thing that everyone's doing now and then nowadays right. there's just so many people instead of uh there's just so many people looking you know just looking up to others um, like I said, it's just, um, I don't know. There's just so many people looking up to others and being distracted for us. Like, let's just say for an example, are you still there? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I say, let's just say for an example and everything. Oh. Um, let's just say for an example, um, you know, I was meant to be found and I was meant to like have, you know, to help these children in this world, you know? Uh, so mm -hmm. uh, to protect their future and it was going to be through me, but guess what? Now that you got these idiots that are just doing other stupid shit on the internet, these children found them first, and now they're distracted by these some of these idi idiots on the internet, and they never found me. When mm. they were supposed to find me, I was supposed to find them and help these children grow up with, through my knowledge and help these children understand what fear really felt like or what it was or help these children understand this life or help these children um in so many ways and mm. i just feel like i i i can't do what i want to do because a lot of these children's are already been manipulated by demons that look human and a mm. lot of things they think it's okay or they think it's okay to mimic or follow or do or it's okay because they're doing it it's not and nope. like i said and um so i feel like i can keep fighting and i can keep fighting but no matter how much I fight and everything, um, it doesn't seem like in some ways I'm getting results. But when I get people like you and others, and I've talked to, like I said, I've talked to some 14-year-olds, 15-year-olds, 16-year-olds, and I've also talked to 70, 60, and 50-year-olds. You know, I connect through all ages. And I, you know, and you find them here and there. You know, mm -hmm. once in a while they pop up here and there. And I said, okay, well, at least I can, I'm making a difference you know, with one person, you know, one person matters to me, you mm -hmm. know, there could be 8 billion people in this world. And if I'm changing the life of one person, that's all that matters to me. Yeah, I mm -hmm. wish I was changing the life for thousands upon millions of people or even billions, but I don't know. I'm not given the opportunity and, and just, you know, these stupid demons or mortals or whatever it is, they're... um you know they're they're abusing the system and it's some ways it's pissing me off but in some ways i'm like well who cares at least i'm doing my part at yeah, least i'm still continuing i still haven't given up i'm still live streaming i'm still putting out the knowledge i am through instagram i'm still writing messages i'm still trying my best you know to deliver the message and i feel like you know there you know i feel like I'm already gotten so far now that it's going to be impossible for me to stop. Hmm. You know, like it's going to be very, very hard for me to stop because I've already gone too far. But at the same time, I am, you know, sometimes I get a little upset because I'm like, damn, I'm, I'm doing more than anybody else in this world, but I'm still not seeing any results. 
Mm. I haven't even received my first paycheck yet on Twitch. What? And I've been I've been streaming for uh, well, dude, uh, I have like uh, nobody. You're the only one that's ever uh, gifted two subs. Uh, nobody's ever donated or anything. Like you have to reach up to a hundred dollars before they send you a check. Oh really? Yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah, so I think it's like they you have to reach up to a hundred dollars in donations and subs and all that. And once you reach a hundred, then that's when they will pay you, and you get paid like every month. But you, if you don't, you know, right now I think I'm stuck somewhere between forty and fifty bucks. I've gotten total right here on Twitch. Yeah. So you know, and that's and that's how. It, but I'm like, damn, I haven't been paid for twitch i haven't been paid through youtube i haven't been paid through instagram i haven't been paid through anything and then i'm seeing all these other idiots and everything doing stupid dance videos doing uh modeling or doing just stupid shit and they're getting paid thousands of dollars through instagram mm -hmm. thousands if not millions of dollars through twitch they're getting paid all this money for nothing you know it's like they're not even doing nothing they're not changing the world whatsoever they're making it worse and they're getting paid to make the world worse mm -hmm. and it's crazy because some of these people use view bots because you know you when you get so many views and when you get so many chats and you get so many things you get paid more but what people right. are doing is they're just using bots to do it ah uh. You know, it's like, oh, well, my YouTube video, oh, well, this, I could get, if I get a hundred thousand views, I get paid this. If I get a million views, I get paid this amount. If I get five mm -hmm. million views, I get paid this amount. Oh, guess what? If I spend this amount of money, this little bit of money on bots to view bot it all to get me, a, a, you know, a million views, I'm going to get paid through them more money than I spent on bots. It's true. You know, so like I said, so that's what people are doing is they're just using bots to get paid and they're using bots for fake, uh, you know, they're using bots to get fake um, views and get popularity. And and again, they think it's OK because, well, if this person's doing it, I'm going to do it. Are there, even there's some websites now that promote view botting. Oh, you want to, you know, do you want to uh, grow your channel? You know, we can help you with bots. Huh? I've seen those ones, yeah. Yeah, dude, and I'm just like, this is crazy, dude. It's not even you can real. You're banned for doing that, though. <laughs> you can, but, dude, how many of these bigger live streamers, dude, are using bots, and they don't get banned, they don't get caught, they don't, nothing, you know, they don't do nothing about it. You know why? Yeah. Because the website's still making money off of it. True. You know, even, you no, know, like, they're making money off of it, so they don't care, and like I said, but if money didn't exist what else would they you know there would be no other point to it unless if you're trying to become famous exactly. unless you're trying to become popular that's the only other reason so if it's not for money then it's for popularity if it's not for popularity you know which you're trying to become famous which popularity and being famous are you know both the same how many so, bots how many bots do you think are in meow stream oh i don't know i don't know um, yeah i don't know dude to be honest i i i Dude, all I know is like, you know, there's just certain big I mean, streamers like that, you know. I bet you there's a bunch in Amarath stream, though. Amarath? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't watch her. Gone. All I uh, know is on Kick, on Kick, the view botting is, and the chat bots are way worse than on Twitch. Oh, it's really? kind of weird. Like, I've seen some of these Twitch streamers that only had 200 views mm -hmm. and they had so many chat bots, and then all of a sudden they joined Twitch, I mean, uh, Kick. And then they're on kick, and that 200 turns to 2,000. Damn. Yes. What? Yes, dude. They, they even, if you'd look at it, they're even talking about how the view botting on kick is just so out of control right now. And that's the thing is that people, some people are going to kick because they look at it like, well, you're not getting in trouble for over view botting yourself, which Twitch allows view botting. Um, but only to a certain amount, you know, they're, they, until right. you get caught and you can get in trouble on kick, dude, they're fucking allowing people to view bot as much as they want. And people are just on there, just taking advantage of it. And, you know, I hate to say it, but even some people are using it to get laid. Some of these Damn. streamers are like going out in public and these girls are like, 
oh my god, you know, like, look how many views you got. He's famous, he's popular, and all of a sudden they're getting laid. Mm. And it's like, wow, you guys are really abusing this just to have some sex? You know, like, <laughs> you know, you're telling me you couldn't get sex without doing all of this? You know, like, you know, and like I said, it's disgusting, you know? It's like they're a, they're just, they're doing everything in the wrong ways, and um, imagine the beauty, imagine how, you know, if people were using this streaming service or using the internet for all the right reasons, this world would be better. We'd be all connected and everything would just be perfect almost, you know, but right now it's like, it's not because it's a lot of, I guess, again, you know, evil has taken over, you know, this mm. world is mostly evil than good. And I feel like that's why mm. when God arrives and the Lord arrives, they're going to put their masks on and it's going to be oh, Satan. Yeah. It's going to be the devil. They're going to be wearing their masks because it's the world that everybody created for them. If this would have been a good world and it would have been, you know, uh, you know, more good people on this world, I'm pretty sure he would have showed up as God and, and the other, per the other person would have showed up as the Lord. But guess what? This world isn't good. It's evil. Oh, and they evil. have to, ha they have to put their gear on. They have to put on, it's like, you know, it's like, all right, well, you know, it's it's time to put on that mask and go to war and we're going to destroy evil with evil. And guess what? I'm no longer God. I'm Satan now. Here comes on my mask. I'm no longer the Lord. I'm the devil. I'm the devil now. And now it's time for war. We're going to destroy evil with evil. You, we didn't have to be like this. We didn't have to put our masks on to, be, to become yeah, this. But you guys, go. yeah, you guys made this choice and now we're here. And now you guys are going to suffer the consequences. And guess what? They they say once it's written in stone, you know, it's it's uh, that's it. You know, once the deed is done, there's no turning it back. Yep, yep, you're right. And that's I said. And no matter how many people try to beg for forgiveness or no matter how many people try to change their lives, sometimes it's too late. You have already have you have you have already done more evil in your life than you have good. Hmm. And um, like I said, so that's why people need to prepare for it, you know, just like. You know, just as a Lord God, like, hey, I could have showed up as Lord God, but I can't because the world I live in, it's too evil. It's too corrupted. So I got to put my mask on and become sin. And I'm going to have to attack evil with evil. And currently right now, I only can do it through my words and knowledge and connections. And I only can speak for myself, but, you know, until I, sh you know, get rid of this cocoon. And then I can not only speak what I've been speaking and Doing, I could show it now. I, you know, there's no limitations anymore. You know, I'm out of my cocoon now. You know, my shell, mm -hmm. my shell is broken. You know. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> yeah. Easy. Yeah, that's, you're right. Yeah. So. Huh? I'm talking to my cat. Oh. He came, jumped up on my bed, and I was like, "Hey, buddy, what are you doing?" Yeah. But um, hey, yeah, dude. Um. Well, I don't know how much time you have, but you know, I, I really do appreciate. I, I'm stuff here. I mean, I was it three, four, five, six. I'm I'm good until seven o'clock, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm gonna probably stream probably for like I don't know maybe another thirty minutes. I wasn't gonna yeah, go I'm too done. long today. I know sometimes, yeah, uh, you know, just conversating can, you know, could be a little draining, right? Sometimes, so yeah. sometimes it's not good to speak everything all at once. Nope. Right. There are some conversations that we can have today, but we should, you know, save it for another day, right? Yep. So that's the way I look at it. But um, I'll come jump back in your stream. Huh? I said I'll come jump back into your stream. Well, yeah, no, yeah, I get it. Uh, to be honest, after I get off with you, I probably would end my stream. I just that my whole thing was I wanted to do what I normally do, and then I wanted to like, yeah, have this conversation with you just to see what it brings, you know, and uh. So far, it's brought a lot of good things, dude. It's brought a really good conversation. You know, I feel like, you know, I was able to get a bit out of me um, today, you know, just, you know, connecting with you. So I appreciate it. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, you got it. So real quick, um, what, how could I say? I wanted to ask you something, but I forgot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mm. What do you feel led you to the darkness? Me. 
You? Mm -hmm. What do you mean by that? I was just tired of, I don't know, I was tired of being picked on. I was tired, like you said, tired of being picked on, tired of being used, tired of being lied to, tired of being taken advantage of. So I said, I got to do something, right? I'm a good person, but that good person's getting his ass kicked. That person's getting punched in the stomach. That person's getting his ears flicked. Whatever, whatever. Those are just metaphorically speaking. But technically, I was being picked on. And I couldn't protect myself. I didn't know how to protect myself. So, I mean, I did karate. I did martial arts. I was told not to use it. Only in defense only. But when you have three people jumping you, and you're the only one there, what are you going to do, you know? You're yeah. Gonna, I mean, you're going to get your punches in, and you're going to get your ass kicked, which is fine, because you're going to learn from it. But at the same time, I just, I wanted to be, I wanted, I wanted them to know that they were scared, not me anymore. And then when I, the night came, <laughs> as I said, the sun set, the night came, and, uh, so pretty much it was beaten I, out of you. The three guys that, like I said, the three guys that, that always were my bullies, one of them became my friend, John. <laughs> one I threw against the wall, picked him up like he was nothing, peed his pants. I mean, I pissed my pants when I was a kid, I, but that was because I couldn't hold my bladder. But yeah, he literally wet his pants. Got white as a ghost. As soon as I let him down, he fucking ran like a chicken ass bitch. The other one, I've never really found where he's at. He just sort of fucking went into hiding. I can't find him. <laughs> because, I mean, I want to, I mean, not that I want to go, I want to go after him, but I want to know that I'm not that guy anymore. But at the same time, I'm like, that's not right for me to do that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so me not finding him and him not finding me is like the perfect scenario of the, like you said, book closed. Book closed, lights out. That's it, man. And then, so, I don't know. And then the dreams that I was having were just so prolific and so scary to me. Uh, as soon as I decided that, like I said, as soon as I said, if you can't beat him, join him. I joined him. I saw Michael Myers bowing for me, Freddy, you name all the fucking monsters in the world, all the monsters that you can think of that, make, that can make you squeal and in your nightmares, ghosts of people, uh, all that stuff to stop. And then I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> and then they just bowed to me. And I was like, all right. And I just saw myself just getting bowed to. And I was like, this is cool. But at the same time, I didn't take it to, um, like, oh, look at me, kind of thing. I said, oh, this is cool. I guess they realized that I'm, no, I'm not that motherfucker to pick on anymore. Anyway, so, <laughs> and it was weird. But then, like I said, and, um, I sort of came out of the darkness, like I said, because I can cross in between the dark and the light. So I started, um, for me, I'm staying in between. I just, I see the darkness, like you said, you see the evil of this world and you can't do shit about it because no one else is going to do anything about it because they're stuck in, they're so happy with Satan's rule, like you said. They're so happy with money and not happy to pay their bills or, like you said, getting all these bots and getting all this money and next thing you know, they're buying, you know, $50,000 cars. I mean, all those, you know, I, I watched one guy told, told stream. I always use my. I always use your money for games and stuff. Three years ago, that guy was buying houses with his money. That was gaming. Uh, the chat was giving him, like you said, they're buying cars, they're buying women, they're having sex. <laughs> and they're like, what the fuck is this? And he just unfollows that person. And you're like, I don't even follow that person. That person lied to me. I don't want to lie. <laughs> So yeah. I, I get you on that one. Um, but no, the dark, I mean, for me, the darkness was just, it was, it was something I needed. But at the same time, it was something I needed, like you said. Um, for you, it was the heaven. 
for me with the hell. I had to feel hell. Even though I was feeling hell as a human, I wanted to feel hell, but I wanted to feel the hell's power. So when I came yeah. out of hell... You kind of sound far away. Strong. I was strong. Oh, okay. I was strong, so I was like, okay. Um, yeah. Hey, you kind of sound far away a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm as close as I can to my phone. Oh, huh. That the, the sound changed. I don't know why. Uh, anyway. Oh, okay. That's crazy. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, and then the darkness started to wrap itself around me, and I was like, okay. And then, but then my family, a lot of my family didn't want to hang out with me. You know, the whole, you know, other people back away from you when you get. No, I get it. Thing, people didn't, like my uncle said, I can't look at you in your face, bro. You got this look in your face, it's just, I mean, you know, when he saw me laugh, that uh, was just a couple of years ago, he's like, man, you, you made a good significant turnaround, but you're still not the person you were. And I was like, yeah, that, the person that was me is gone, bro. It's, he's just a memory. He's a weakling memory that I can't bring. Like, he's still inside me, but he's not afraid anymore. He's not afraid to stand up. He's not afraid to put his foot down and say no. My problem is I say yes a lot. <laughs> so, mm, the savior part is still there. I still want to save people. I still want to make people realize that I can be the savior. But at the same time, that's focusing on everybody else. Technically, I'm supposed to be focusing on myself. You're, you know, like you said, you're in the point where you've already focused on yourself. Now you're trying to show everybody else what's going on. But even, and everybody else is realizing, oh, shit, he's right or wrong or however you say it. But they're, taking it they're taking it as, uh, like you said, knowledge, right? Or yeah. just, just thought, thought process, right? Take this as a thought process. Don't. Take me serious, but take this as a thought process, right? And then they go, oh, shit, he might be right. And like me, I do my research. When you talk, I fucking go do my research. And I'm like, this motherfucker's talking shit. He's talking shit, but he knows what he's talking about because it's coming true in this world. Inside of him, inside of me, inside of everybody else. I'm like, oh, shit. But I already knew it. So I was like, okay, so he's matching what I'm seeing. He's matching what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the same thing you are. I'm telling you the same thing you already know. And you're like telling me, yeah, I already know that. And it's even going to get deeper. And when you say that, I'm like, damn. All right, that's real. Cool. And then I just follow it down the rabbit hole more because I just keep doing research. And like, Mark, he's good. He has some really good, like, thought process. I try to follow him a little bit down the rabbit hole and see, you know, where he's going. But you are even, like I said, I think you're even better. But that's just my opinion. And then, I don't know, man. There's just no one really, that's the problem with this world. No one wants to hear the truth because it's too scary. Yeah. yeah. It's something they don't want to do anymore. It's too, it, it's the Anakin Skywalker. Take the Are, you, are you on speaker right now? Yeah, I'm on speaker. On. Oh, that's what it sounds like. Can you, can you take it off speaker? Yeah, is that better? Yeah, better. Okay, sorry. It's like Anakin Skywalker syndrome. Walk down the easy path to the dark side. That's where everybody's going, pretty okay. much. No one's staying on the light side. Oh, you are and I are. But we know why we do it. It's because <laughs> we know what the dark, the darkness will give us is just anxiety, depression, loneliness, mm-hmm. all the stuff you've been talking about, no women, you know, people will get scared of you, they'll... They'll, they'll hide from you. They'll, 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 they don't want to talk to you anymore. We don't want that. Yeah, yeah. We want we want people to. We actually want people to realize that what we're saying, even if it's bullshit true, like you said, even if it's bullshit true or not true, we just want you to listen to it, mm-hmm. think about it, do some research yourself, and go, okay, maybe they're right. <laughs> Just a little bit. We don't care. Like I said, I don't care if I'm right. At the end of my life, I don't give a damn if I'm right or wrong, bro. I just want you to come up to me, hug me. That would be my, like I said, that would be my verification that you really learned that possibly 
your son or your friend or your best buddy, whatever you want to call me, was like, and I'll be the same thing to you. I'll walk up to you and I'll be like, hello, come here, give me a hug, bro. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> you know, but that's the, that's at the end. But, you know, like, but I'm, I'm here for another 3,000 years, dude. I'm stuck here for another 3,000 years. You may die. In 50 years, I have no idea when you're going to die. I mean, I know you don't want to die. A night of devils. Anyways, go ahead. You sound... I don't know what's wrong with the sound. It doesn't sound like you did before. I'm charging my phone at the same time. Let me try to take off my charge. Is that better? Let me see. Let me see if that's better. Hello? I'm here. Okay. Keep talking? Yeah, I'm talking. Oh, okay. I think it sounds a little better. I don't know. I... I was charging my phone at the same time, and maybe that's why I wasn't working. But anyways, I don't know, man. I just, I just know. I no, it's sounds so, so, real quick. Three, so, I want you to hold that thought because so, I'm telling you, like, it, this is a great conversation, but you don't sound like you did earlier. It sounds something sounds like, like, em- like it doesn't sound the same. Mm-hmm. Do you want to call me back really quick? Yeah. No okay, h- hang up and call back. Maybe it's just a connection. Okay, bye. All right, bye. I'll call you back, dude. Let me see. Okay, is that better? Oh my god, dude, it sounds way better. What happened? What happened? I I don't know. It, like you'll see when you watch my stream, you sounded like you do now at first, and then mm-hmm. all of a sudden you started sounding far away and crackly. I was gonna let it go. But then I'm like, well, no, he doesn't. You know, I was letting it go because, you know, yeah, it was a good conversation. But I, I was like, n- yeah, but now it sounds like way better. So maybe there's okay, just, you know, know, you know, sometimes maybe it's cell phones. Connect. Yeah, it's connection. Yeah. So go I ahead, keep going. <laughs> okay, go ahead and keep going. No, I'm at 66%. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah. go, okay, go, go c- continue. Well, I was just, I'm not, I don't know, man. I just know that. For me, the darkness was what I needed to like survive in a weird way. For you, you needed heaven and your Lord God and God to surround you and take care of you. Yeah. And then, in a weird way, I went back to being light for a while. I mean, I still am light and dark. So it's like I can do both. My problem is if I go too deep and dark, I, I feel like you. I feel like I have nothing left. Okay. And uh, there's nobody else. There's no woman to please me. Like you said, there's no woman to please you. And there's no friends that you can really sit down and talk to about this because they just get white in the face and they're like, dude, you're crazy. Or oh, I think I'm going to go home or whatever the fuck it is. And you're like, all right, bro, I'm sorry. Can we start this over? And it's like they're like, nah, I'm good. And they're like, fuck. <laughs> That's just what it yeah. is. Explain myself. To explain myself, to sit down and actually explain myself was the hardest thing to do. But it's like, I mean, my mom and dad took my like I said, my mom and dad took my sister because he's gay. They took that easily, easier than for me to come and tell them something's not right in me. I feel dark. I feel lost. I feel empty. Wow, okay. And they're like, and I said, and the only thing that's food doesn't taste the same anymore. And they're like, what the hell? Ah, I got it. Like, yes, I know. I know what you mean. Um, I said, and then when I get cranberry juice or anything that's red, tastes like blood, mm-hmm. and these fangs come out, and I just. I feel like surrounded with this immense power that I don't know how to use. And it's almost like I do, it's almost like my super saiyan comes out. But, you know, like I said, I tried, (laughs) I tried so many things to like conquer my dreams. Hulk Hogan, Batman, Spider-Man, Superman, all that. You know who the one person that made my dreams come like just, 
stop and stare and stop and just boom undertaker fucking undertaker he's a fucking he's supposed to be like the evil guy right in wrestling but he was the one that i said i'm gonna i'm gonna take him into my dreams and see i'm gonna become him and see what happens and when i did okay. it went boom flat okay like flat flat a flat uh line Bloop. Then the heart started beating, boop, 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 boop. And then everybody started bowing to me. And I had a woman by my side, and she was fucking beautiful as fuck, right? And I can see the, and I can understand where you're coming from, because you want that fucking beautiful woman by your side who knows you and you know her, and you both can come out of your shell. But that person, aka Monica, wanted Randy. She wanted Randy more than she wanted me, but I saw her as my goddess. But she she wanted Randy more than she wanted me, which is fine. And I wasn't gonna stop her. It hurt, but I'm not gonna stop her. So I went to Catherine, who was my girlfriend at the time, okay. and you now we were fucking five years boyfriend girlfriend. Okay. I fucking got a ring and flowers. I got a ring and flowers. Went to her house. Got on my knees and proposed to her, and she fucking said no. Wow. I found out she After was five years? Five years. And then wow. I found out she was dicking around with another guy. I own the. Damn, <laughs> that hurts. I, I calmed my inner self down because the motherfucker that she was with came to the house one day when I was there, and I just, I was pacing back and forth, bro. I was fucking. That guy inside of me was going to rip his fucking head off. <laughs> and I was trying my hardest not to. And I actually ended up shaking his hand, which was very, very fucking hard, right? And then I fell in love with the girl, another girl, but she sort of was in a relationship with the guy that I knew, was, which was a good friend of mine. <laughs> and again, I didn't want to break his fucking trust, right? Mm -hmm. Because he's a wolf. And I'm this vampire, and we're cool as fuck together. And I'm like, bro, Renee's fucking... I, and I sat down with him, and I was like, bro, look, Renee's hella hot. I think her and I would be cool together. What do you think? He's like, yeah, we were just dating. I was like, I just don't want to do this to you, bro. I want your blessing that you're going to be okay with this. And then he's like, dude, go ahead, dude. Take her. If you want to take Renee, go for it. And then we, I was with Renee for two years. And then it just stopped, bro. There's no love. She just, one day I just grabbed, I told her to close her eyes and I wanted to show her me, who I really was. And I did that. I think I fucking made a mistake, bro. And uh, to be honest with you, I did make a mistake. And whatever I did, fucking scared the living shit out of her. She didn't want anything to do with me. I haven't seen her since. I don't think she lives in the same town as me. I think she might have actually moved away just because I did that. But I don't know, bro. It's like you said, I want you wanted to you want to see if that woman is yours and your goddess. Yeah, you have to grab her by the hand. You have to show her who you are, whether the consequences is not good only or bad. that she has to accept it. Yes, yes. You know. Anyways, I haven't had that, and that was the last girlfriend I've had. Other than I'm talking to this girl named Cynthia, mm -hmm. which is cool. But she's from another state, bro. She's three, she's she's in the East Coast. I'm West Coast. So the chances of us like meeting, meeting, other than just fucking doing what we're doing right now is, you know. The last time I had a girlfriend was 11 years ago, dude. And that's what I'm saying. We're both in yeah. the same spot. We're in a spot and where, look, I, but for me, loneliness sort of grabs my hand and takes me with it. For you, loneliness makes you feel downright bad. You want to be with somebody. You want to show that person you, whether it's sin or God, whatever. You want to, like I said, you want that person to know you and you want them to be the same as you, like you said. And man, like you said, <laughs> one out of a, what'd you say, one out of a thousand? A thousand, a hundred More, thousand, who yeah. knows? Yeah. I mean, we've talked about, you know, Zapka Princess and all them. And she's just on Twitch, and you're like, dude, she, she could be my goddess anytime. And I was like, 
just fucking say something to her. And you're like, nah, nah, nah. And I was like, all right. He's like, she has to make the first move. And I agree with you. Let the woman make the first move. I don't know, man. I'm in a state where most of these girls don't fucking care about guys anymore. I don't know how it is in your, you know, over there where you're at. But California, <laughs> there's not really very many girls out here that are just downright, you know, the, what we want for ourselves. They're all high and mighty. They think they're all high and mighty and they want money and they want you to go take them. I don't know. It's not it. I'm sorry. I know I don't have that much money and, you know, my Latin, this, this paycheck that I just got is probably the most money I got since I've worked at this gym slash club, you know, and it's like, damn, like that made me excited to see my paycheck today. But again, like you said, what is it going to do? It's going to go toward bills. I'm not really going to enjoy that money, right? Yeah, I know. So I feel like you. I feel the same way with you. It's like, so we have to get up. We have to fucking comb our hair, brush our teeth, put on our little suit, go and be all merry and cheery with all our employees that some of them are cool. Like at my job, they're not because I'm not selling. I'm just cleaning and and sometimes I'm selling, but I'm not really selling. So it's not really a competition because the, you know, the ones that sell are mostly the managers. We just basically get the person to get the manager to come out anyways. So it's not really, like I said, the manager is going to take the credit anyways. But anyways, it, it's I crazy, know. man. I'm I just, know you- like I said, I'm just cleaning. I'm just doing my thing. I'm talking to, you know, the members. I'm just making sure they're having a good time and working out and getting their goals, whatever their goal is. And they're like, yeah, you should do it too. And I'm like, yeah, man, you know, I, I do. I come over here. I'll work out, you know, here and there. I don't know, man. It's crazy. But no, this world's just, like you said, this world is so corrupted and evil. And yeah. like you said, no one wants to stop and go, I need to get out of this life that I'm in now. Like, I, I don't know. Like I said, uh, I was on my little stream a couple days ago. I said, I, I had three people watching. I said, now, you three people, would you rather be in your grave squirming like you're having a the worst nightmare ever? Or do you want to be at peace knowing that you did everything you could and you took the world by its, its balls and said, I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's pretty much what Martin Luther King did. That's why he got killed. I mean, Malcolm X, you can go all, go all the way through life. But anyways, it's... it's I know what it's, you mean. Because I kind of... We want to do our own thing. Yeah, we want to do our own thing. I don't know, man. Like, for you, for me, how you were saying it, it sounded like you were in, a like, another cocoon, sort of in a weird cocoon, and you were, like, you're looking at all the things you've already done, like a computer, and it's all, like, sitting there for you, and you're like, I've already known this knowledge. They've already gave me this knowledge. I got it down. It's like, what is next? I have no idea. I can't even answer that question. Only you can, because you're the one that needs to, like, say, uh, somehow or another, you need to say to yourself, um, okay, sin, um, I'm going to do this, or I'm going to do that. I'm going to do the other thing. But you're so, like, like you said, you feel like you need to die first get rid of this body get rid of the flesh mm-hmm. and come back and go here i am motherfuckers we can yeah, do yeah that. like yeah i right? you know i right? literally and, and i literally want to i want to come and back like, as and fear like me i can't i'm not going to tell you don't do it and you know no i want to when i come back i, I want to come back as pure fear the reason why the reason why I want to come back in fear is because I feel like fear is the ultimate protection. I feel mm-hmm. like even if I am with someone else or I'm with my goddess or whatever it is, I feel like not her, like she will never fear me, of course, you know, like she has nothing to mm-hmm. fear. But I feel like everyone else around us will fear us because of me. And I've always said the person who I love, you know, I'm going to love the most forever. I want to make sure uh, the only way, the only way I feel like I'm ever, ever going to protect them, you know, that the love of my life, 
The only way I'm going to be able to protect them forever is to become fear itself. It's and, true. you know, mm -hmm. and I feel like fear is the ultimate protection, um, you know, for your, yeah. yeah, for the other half. But again, not her fear of me. Where I was, that's what I needed. I wanted the fear to know that I ain't that person you can. Of course, <laughs> I went, of course, you know, I went from four foot nine to six foot two in maybe a half a year. So, yeah. you know, I went from a little shit to a tall shit. And then I worked out a little bit and I got a somewhat of a okay body. But of course, you know, as age has hit me, you know, I can't drink. I mean, I'm drinking soda still, but it just adds on weight. <laughs> I never drank beer, but anyways, but still. But now, I mean, I got muscles, and now I'm in my body, and I'm like, damn, I'm bigger than that guy that was picking on me now. Now he's the short shit, and I'm the big shit. And I'm like, yeah, you ain't picking on me, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then your buddy sure ain't going to pick on me, and you can bring all three of your motherfuckers. And I told him that, too. You can bring all three of your buddies. And we'll see. I said, you might have got me last time, but the game has changed. I said, the tables have turned. The game has changed. And fuck his fucking face like i said his fucking face turned white as fuck and he knew i was fucking serious and he's like he didn't know what to do and yeah like, That's right, bitch and yeah. then he kicked like i said when he kicked my dog that was it bro i that was that was when i lived in fremont and he fucking kicked my dog and i picked him up by his fucking scrawny neck i threw him against the wall and i told him he's fucking food for the mortals yeah yeah <laughs> oh, fuck, dude oh I my fuck you. dude and then, like speaking he of fucking peed his pants, he fucking wet his pants, and I said, "Now who's we? Now who's the peer?" Or I forgot what he used to call me, wetter or something, something, something stupid. Uh, I haven't seen him since either. I mean, I, I, at some point, I sort of want to apologize to him, but at the same time, I'm like, "What am I apologizing for? He's the motherfucker." The difference is the, the thing that pisses me off the most, to be honest with you. I fucking bullied someone else, bro. I and that wasn't really what I wanted to do, you know. Because I said I told myself I'll never bully someone, never bully someone the way I got bullied. But I did the fucking same thing they did, and I was like, for what? Because of my other friends were doing it. I was hanging out with dickheads that were just fucking dickheads, and then I got away from the dickheads, and they didn't like that. And I was like, well, tough titties, dude. Yeah, you guys aren't. You guys aren't really cool. You guys think you guys are cool, but you guys really ain't cool. But out of one of those guys was John, and the other one was Kevin. And we're still all cool friends, but we just don't fucking do what we just, you know, we fucking got, as I said, we got wisdom, and we got a little knowledge, <laughs> and we learned, and we're like, okay, yeah, we were just dicks. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. And I get and I get what you're saying. Um, you know, like even but, my... yeah, yeah, you're right though. I mean, put the dude. I mean, if you like, uh, go for it, bro. Bring the fear, bro. Do it. Well, uh, that's the way. That's I mean, the way. That's I what it's it. gonna take to, for you to be like happy and bring yourself. Well, no, out of this... not not happy. I feel like right. it's. It, I feel protected. And protected. I feel yeah, like, and I feel like Do not it. only, not only that, but it's not so much protecting even myself. It's going to be protecting my significant other by becoming fear itself, because yeah. I feel like without fear, um, nobody's going to be, nobody's going to show respect. You know, everybody's going to yeah, take it, advantage. It, and I then mean, I always like to take advantage of me, but don't take advantage of my other help. But then I have to care about myself as well. So that's the only like, way I can think of, you know, think of it. And like I said, even, yeah, like my, my ex dude, like, you know, I was with her for five years and then it was weird. Cause I was always like me, you know, Jimmy and, uh, you know, my human self, you know, Jimmy and, you know, I was just, and then all of a sudden, you know, back on October, uh, 18, uh, 18th of 2011, even a little bit before that, you know, I started changing and I started talking differently and I started seeing things differently. And, okay. and I was still Jimmy. And I remember she used to beg me. She used to beg. She's like, please, I want Jimmy back. I miss the old Jimmy. I miss Jimmy. And she's like, please, I just want him back. And then I was like, I am me. It's still Jimmy, but I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm, I just got all this inside of me and I see things differently now. And, 
you know, I, I still didn't, I, at that time, I still couldn't understand what was going on. But in front of her, I was still Jimmy. I was still like me. I was still the same person. But then I feel like if a little bit of a percentage of, let's say, sin came out or whoever I was, you know, who I am now, um, when just a tiny bit came out, she would like freak out and be like, see, there, there it is again, you know, like I'm losing Jimmy. Like, I'm like, what do you mean? Like, I'm Jimmy, like 90 to 95 percent of the time. And you're telling me 10 or 5 percent of the time I talk the way, you know, like me and you, are, we talk or how I talk online or others. I was like, if I talk about that 10 or 5 percent of the time, you're taking it like, oh, you're losing me. And it's kind of like, no, it's like, you know what I mean? Like, you're not losing me. I'm I'm always Jimmy. I'm this is I'm Jimmy. Like, I, I don't I, I know how to be Jimmy. I mean, I know how to, like, be myself. But it was just like I said, if I was just a little bit who I am now, it was, you know, like, oh, you know, there I go. You know, so it was just hard. And. Yeah, I'll just always remember her being like, I just want Jimmy back. And I'm like, I'm still me. So, yeah, so I get where you're coming from on that, on certain things. You know, it's, um, you know, once Great you talk. just, it, once you know certain things or once you understand certain things. Hello, Omni, Omni King's Eye. What's up, dude? I got a, that's a badass name. There's a guy in my chat called Omni King's Eye. It's pretty badass, huh? Yeah. So, yeah, dude, I'm going to follow him. So. Um, so yeah, so like I said, it's just, um, you know, sometimes you just, you get, uh, uh, you just get a little bit, um, you know, it's just hard to go back, dude. It's just hard to go back to being human. It's hard to go back to, you know what I mean? Being immortal. Mm -hmm. Uh, you're, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, what do you want me to call you? You want me to call you King? So, oh shit. Thanks. Man. Yeah. I could call you King, dude. I don't mind. Um, so yeah, like I said, so it's just got really hard for me to, like I said, dig, uh, go back to being mortal and going back to, uh, you know, I guess you could say my old ways or whatever it is. Um, like I still could, but I feel like, you know, I just, I have to act, you know what I mean? I gotta, yes. you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta become a, an, an actor, you know what I mean? And, and the best part, you know, I can, you know, when I become an actor, um, you know, I, I just got to act human, you know, I got to act mortal, but the more I do, the more other mortals and other humans take advantage of me. They call mm. me Mr. Burn. <laughs> That's tight. Burn. All right. I like that. So, yeah, but you know, like I said, um, so the more that I, I feel like I become one of them, the more they, uh, they talk, they take advantage of that and take advantage and just think I am one of them, even though I'm not, I'm just becoming one of them just out of respect. You know what I mean? Because like I said, sometimes, uh, sometimes my, uh, how could I say, uh, you know, I become a little bit too superior and I don't like to become too superior because I feel like it's a little rude and I feel like I wouldn't feel or be superior if everybody else was superior with me. If I had everybody else that was superior with me, then I wouldn't feel superior because they're just like me. But since they're not like me, then I'm feeling more superior than them. And that's why I'm like, well, there's not going to be too many people like me and I don't want to feel superior and I don't want to I feel it feels rude. And and I guess that's going to take time to become just like me. So I got to become one of them. I got to become human. I got to become mortal and blend in. But when I do that, they take advantage of me, you know, and I get tired of that. I have a question. Give me one second, Night of Devils. I have a question. Right. What is this conversation about? Uh, uh, dude, it's it's about a lot of things. Dude. It's just about immortality, life, uh, who we become, becoming heaven, becoming hell, this living, like, it's just like being immortal, you know, being, uh, living forever. Uh, we we're talking about um, being, we were, uh, let's say, like a caterpillar and and now that we're in these bodies, this is our cocoon and being in a cocoon state, you know, being in this cocoon state, um, you know, we're um, once we break out of this cocoon, that's when we're going to show like me. I'm not a butterfly. I'm a moth. So this body is our cocoon that holds us back. And then once we uh, flourish, um, you know, get, a, you know, just I guess shed the shower, get out of this cocoon. Uh, then everybody will see who we really are. 
But yeah, you would have to rewatch the stream, Omni King oh, or, or Burn. Sorry, Burn, uh, Mister Burn. Um, you would have to really watch rewatch the live stream to kind of get it. And then also too, if you follow my Instagram, you can follow my Instagram and get a little bit more answers of what I talk about, who I communicate with, and you know who it is. Like me, I'm more of an immortal war angel. Uh, I have, you know, that's my bloodline, that's my history, that's my race. Um, mm -hmm. And then Knight of Devils, you know, he sees himself more what, like a vampire, right? Um, and sees himself more as the devil. He sees us more as the night, the darkness. You know, he's like the dark. Um, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. We're just high planning. We're high, it's called high planning. Basically, we're, we're going above and beyond our body's capability. Yeah. For the chat, for chat, that's basically what we're talking about. Yeah, we're we're just <laughs> basically trying... we're. Yes, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, I was gonna I was gonna say chat. You know, chat. Think about Gandalf becoming gray to white. Technically, he went from one body to a different body. That's what we're talking about. In a weird way. Yeah, kind of like you know, like. We have our past lives, like I always tell yeah. you know, others in Night of Devils, I have many past lives. Each past life what? brings its own name, brings its own story. Um, exactly. You know, this life right now, I'm human. Uh, they call me Jimmy as a human, uh, even though I'm not because there's so much more inside of me, you know, which, you know, and uh, I feel like uh, Mr. Burn, I'll call you Mr. Burn. Um, I feel like, there. well, f for me... I only got one more future life yet because when you have past lives, um, that means you also have future lives. And the reason why I can't say uh, that I have many more future lives is because time isn't going to be that much longer. It's coming to an end. So mm -hmm. I only have one more future life left. Now, if time was going to live a lot longer and the end wasn't so close, it wasn't going to be here so soon then I could say, okay, well, I have three more future lives. I have four more future lives. I have five more future lives. But since time is coming to an end, I've come to realize I only have one more future life. And But I, I love it that I only have one more future life left and the end is, at the end is near is because once I gain my last life which is my you know i got this life and i got one more life left and i've already collected all my past lives since i got one more life left i feel like once i gain that i'm complete there is no more past lives there is no present life there is no more future lives like i'm complete now i found all the pieces to myself and it's all here you know i, I have it so now i got to make sure i hold myself together forever and I never spread myself throughout time anymore because a long time ago, I was one, this one person with many names, but I was, there was no future lives. There was no past life. It was just me all in the present forever. But something happened where I got ripped into pieces and different parts of my stories. Oh, you lost connection or I'll reconnect right now in a little bit. I felt like, um, you know, like uh, I got ripped into pieces and every piece got a different name throughout time, throughout history. And I had to dig deep and find myself throughout time and history and piece it all back together, which I've been doing that. And then now once I complete myself, I don't have, you know, I just got to make sure that I never get ripped into pieces again and I stay as a whole, you know. Do you want me to call you back, Knight of Devils? Or um it's up to you dude if you want to conversate more i'm down i know you got more in you uh if not then i might just end the stream in about five or ten minutes and you could just talk and chat that's up to you dude but i can easily call you back so you let me know what you want to do um so yeah like i said uh you know mr burn <laughs> uh that's that's weird I don't, that's weird there's uh whatever no, you do. Don't whatever me, dude. You, I, I asked you the question. When, as I asked you the question, there is no whatever. Um, so yeah, like I said, um, hmm, yeah, uh, you, you know, you have given me a very good perspective on the new, uh, character I'll be creating on my novel. Oh, nice. Okay, I got you. 
Yeah, everybody has their own different ways. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I understand now. Um, I guess I never understood it before. Um, but I understand now why people write books. You know, I understand now why movies are made. I understand now why uh, people do certain things. You know, we should save the next conversation. Yeah, I agree, Knight of Devils. We'll save the next conversation. Um, so I understand, I understand novels now and what it's about. I understand what characters are now, you know, characters are, uh, usually something, uh, within people, you know, and they bring it out in their own unique way. Uh, we'll just say like anime, right? Every time I see an anime and I see all these characters in an anime, I'm like, well, this came from someone, you know, these characters are real. Uh, they're just expressing it in their own way inside of an anime and they're sharing their story within them, you know? So that's why when you see Naruto or you see, uh, you know, Bleach and Ichigo and you see, um, you know, uh, Tokyo Ghoul, you know, and you see, um, you know, like Death Note and you see all these characters in the story, it's like, well, all of this was inside somebody, you know, how can it not be real, you know, like, you know, I even tell people right now I can make a cartoon, an anime about me and everybody can say, oh, it's a cartoon or an anime. It's not real. It's like, what do you mean it is like just because it was made into a novel, just because it was made into a show. It doesn't mean it's not real. It was inside somebody and it came from somewhere. You know, it's just we have the technology now and we have different many ways to let it out. You know, we have many ways to uh, express ourselves and everybody does it their own way. So, like I said, um, you know, but that's why I'm a I'm a really big fan and a big believer on people who do things when you know when it comes to novels and creating animes or creating a a show because um, it's very real. Um, it's not like you know, and so even a dream. Some you know, you might might you might write. I'll read what you wrote right now. You might write a, a you know. You seem like the type of person to enjoy fantasy novels and books. Um, not really. Um, I believe that it's like this. You know, you say fantasy, right? Could I ask you something, uh, Mister Burns? Do you want me to call? Is that what you want me to call you, Burns? Um, so fantasy, let's just say this you know, when they wrote the books, the Star Wars, you know, they did Star Wars, right? In the 70s, let's say. And they wrote about lasers and they wrote about say, uh, lifesavers and they wrote about all this, you know, about all this stuff with Star Wars traveling through space. Burn, just burn. Okay. All right, burn. So, you know, they created Star Wars a long time ago. Did you know it was labeled as fantasy? You know, all that Star Wars shit going on, it was a fantasy. But guess what? Now that we fast forward all the way to 2023 and, you know what I mean, and everything that came through, it's no longer a fantasy. We actually have spaceships now that can fly. We have lasers invisible lasers not lasers that look green and red shooting people like they're invisible lasers now that can kill people uh they can actually make a real lifesaver now they can there are some people that have like the jedi power they tap deep you know like so you, and they have robots now that can do certain things they have you know maybe not everything in star wars came into reality yet but mostly everything that was in star wars a long time ago and they called it a fantasy now today it's no longer a fantasy they called it uh it's you know what i mean it's well it's not so much fantasy but they called it fiction um yeah so it's like um like i even said there's a um a story out there where these kids in the 1900s they were having dreams and they were having these dreams of something in the sky flying and they had they drew these pictures um, they did all this stuff and nobody could understand what it was. They're like, what is this? You know? And then all these years later, we have airplanes, you know, we have, you know, helicopters and things flying in the air. And then they're like, wow, these kids from a long time ago, were having dreams about this before it even happened, before it came into play, just like a car, just like anything else. Someone imagined a car and dreamed of it or whatever it was. And all of a sudden, it's here today. 
Um, and it's even just the same thing with the periodic table. Everything we have today is from a periodic table and a periodic table came from a dream, you know? So it's like, wow, if someone didn't have that dream of a periodic table, then a lot of the things that were created today wouldn't even be here. So again, everything that was fiction is starting to become nonfiction. Um, and even if it was nonfiction, it's still going to stay nonfiction. Um, so yeah, so like I said, I don't look at things so much as fantasy. Now, there are some things that are really out there still, and obviously we're still going to call it a fantasy. But guess what? You know, 500 years from now, that fantasy is going to come true where, I don't know, maybe dragons and you know, fairies or elves or whatever, you know, else there is, you know, comes a fan, like just weird shit like that, you know, fantasy stuff. Uh, it's going to be there, you know, um, she, she, right. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, um, so it's, uh, you know, like I said, it's just, it's just depending how you look at things. Uh, all lies become truth and all truths become a lie. Um, it's, it's the circle of life, right? We have the circle of life and this life, the, you know, it keeps going in circles, you know, and it keeps going in circles, you know, eventually, like I said, each circle you go into, it's not going to be the same circle. Like it's the same circle you're going into, but every circle you, you know, every time you re-reach the beginning of that circle, it's going to start a different life. Now you reach that, the, be the end and then the end is the beginning. It's going to circle around again. And then of course it's a different life, but it's still the same life cycle. So again, that's how you start figuring out, you know, the lies and truth. And then you're like, well, damn, in reality, you know, everything that was a lie is becoming the truth and the truth is becoming the lie. But I will say there are certain lies out there that are always going to be a lie. You know, no matter how many times you go through that life circle, it's just going to stay a lie and it's a lie. Uh, there is no truth behind it. But again, you got to figure that out on your own um, as you, you know, continue through that circle you know, over and over and over again. So, but, um, all right, well, you know, at night of devils, I think, you know, I'll probably end the stream right there, dude. Um, it was a pleasure talking to you, um, as always. And, um, like I said, we'll save the conversation for next time. Maybe we could do like a dual stream or something like that. And, you know, that was pretty cool. Very interesting, you know, got to talk to each other on stream and, uh, added to the element, I guess you could say. So, you know, added another what? I think I added another two, two and a half hours to my stream, I believe. So that's pretty damn good. Because uh, I was almost ready to end it. I was just trying to buy time until hopefully you showed up, you know? Um, so, yeah, dude. You know, I appreciate you stopping by. And, and thank you, Burn, for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And um, and I probably can, again, do my next live stream on... Uh, on um about a month from now i've been doing it like once every month or so and if you want to know more or see more or interact with me you know like i said i've always i always i still have my instagram i'm at exit have other my accounts and stuff and you know i mainly uh connect with others through instagram and uh not so much anywhere else and then um yeah i know and um like i said and uh yeah, you know, we just uh, we could go from there. And uh, let me see, I'm going to try to, I always end my streams with something, like a, a little song or something. I, I'm just not, um, you know, I'm not uh, sure. I'm not sure what to end it with, to be honest. Um, let me see, I just choose a random something, dude. Let me see. Hmm, goodbye. Enjoy your night. Oh, appreciate it, man. Thanks for stopping by. Just uh, just go ahead and recatch the live stream on video. I'm going to be pu putting it up and getting it ready and stuff. Just go ahead and stop by and catch it. And and uh, yeah, like I said, then, um, you know, you could get a better idea of what me and Night of Devils was mainly talking about. But again, if you really, really want to know about me, you can go on my Instagram. You can follow my storyline and, and uh, help you understand certain things. So, and um, yeah, you know, um... Let me see. I don't know what to really play, to be honest. Um, 
Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I'll play this. Let's see. Oh, I'll just play this. Uh, all right. Well, you guys take care. Let me see. All right, you guys take care again. Thanks for stopping by night of devils. Thanks for the conversation. I really appreciate it. And thanks, Miss uh, burn for stopping by and uh, just rewatch the live stream if you want. And, um, Again, uh, you know where to find me. <laughs> you guys uh, have a good night. Books closed, right? Uh, lights out, books closed. So, oh, real quick, uh, Burn, Night of Devils, when he ends things or whatever it is, his thing is lights out. And then my thing is books closed. So we kind of got our own little fucking weird old thing going, but it works. <laughs> uh, the rare few will get it. So everybody has to have their own ending and... Night of Devils' is ending is lights out, and my ending is books closed. So, all right, guys, take care, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>